Cash be killer. Beats be the Drink champs. Days, what's going on, y'all? This is Mike Geronimo. Drink champs, I'm here. Tune in. We hear y'all. What it could be, hope it's what it should be. This is your boy N A O N A A. What up, it's DJ E F N. And this is Miller Tame Crazy War Radio. Motherfucking <laughs> drink chance. Make some! <laughs> and right now, when it comes to legends, not only a legend, but a Queen's legend. When it comes to people that have a bar lords, lyrical lord, you know what I'm saying? Really had the game. His first album really changed everything. What? In Queens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Laid the legacy, laid the foundation for those that's coming from flushing after him. You understand what I'm saying? People had to show that respect and do that. The man has worked with, he's grew up with Large Professor. Mm. He has worked with the likes of Puff Daddy, a hitman produced his whole shit, Irv Gotti, and he had Jay Z when Jay Z was Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> And Ja Rule, before he owned this champagne, goddammit. He had records with him like that. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, we're talking about the legendary, extraordinary Mike Motherfucking Geronimo! Thank you. Now, Thank now, you. Now, now, Mike, you got one of, like, one of the most unanswered stories in hip-hop, right? Because when I look, I look as a lot of the interviews, you know, go back and do the research, mm -hmm. and it was like back then, you didn't really talk too much. No. Yeah. Why is that? I think some of it, bro, is just for just my nature. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never been a boisterous personality. Mm -hmm. I was never that. Like, mm -hmm. I was just always, yo, Mike is here. You know, he bugging mm -hmm. with, with everybody. He's smoking, drinking. Mm -hmm. He in the cut, mm -hmm. you know. And and a lot. I think a lot of that played a, a big part as to why I guess I was, for lack of a better term, reserved and... Right. and Quiet, and I can see how mm -hmm. it could kind of, you know, I look timid, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then the other side of it was just, I don't know, maybe it was my dad, like from an early age. He's, mm -hmm. My dad was always like, listen, boy, you can show people way better than you could tell them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and so even when things would arise that I felt maybe I should say something, right. I just wouldn't. Right. And then. Right. Like, um, I think X, X said it best for me. He's like, yo, you care too much wow. about everything. He, he said, you care too much. I care too much. We're talking about DMX. DMX, right? yes, 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 you know, so I think it's a combination of the two. Uh, and I'm a very, you know, you get older, you realize right. so much more about yourself that you never allowed yourself to see. Right. So I've come to terms with I'm like, yeah, you're just a private personality, Mike. Mm. Like, you know, and I, I'm always, you know, around people right. and around folk and around, you know, whatever we're doing, but just by nature, that's just me. Now, now the first me. album, it was on Blunt TVT? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then and then the second album, it was like, it, it was. what was the Hollywood label? What was it, Blunt now? Cause y or was y'all dropped the Blunt and it was TBT? I, you know, they had gone through so much of a, it, for all intents and purposes, it was still TVT slash right. Blunt recordings. But I'm, Blunt was like the hotter label, so that's what they went with? Blunt was actually supposed to be a division of, and mm. it was what they were trying to make the the hip hop urban, division, right, right, right you know, of, like, of TBT because right. TBT was like because they had like nine inch nails and shit. Yeah, on I was TBT. gonna say, yeah, shout yeah. out Trent Reznor, yeah. like, and um, Bounty Killer. Okay, Bounty yeah. Killer, that's yeah. right. Yeah, Bounty Killer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bounty Killer, 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 yeah.
everything from the Jetsons which is to the genius, Jefferson, what which he it did. was yeah. it was amazing. Yeah. Right. Like once I got older and more assertive, right. and I realized the magnitude of what that one deal right. did for him as an owner, a proprietor, a distributor. Right. right? Like it was an ingenious thing to do at the time. Right. And then so TVT decided they were going to get in a hip hop and Blunt was supposed to be the flagship division of overall. But the first TV. album said TVT and Blunt, right? Yeah, they all did. Yeah, okay, they all did. It, okay. it had yeah. to because the natural the natural was actually the first album TVT ever. Blunt ever rap wise ever did. Wow, yeah. let's make some noise for that. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that added more pressure too because I was like the first hip hop artist they had ever signed. Right, which was why Gotti at the time was like, "Listen, this is the best home for us because." You the first artist on a brand new label that wants to be involved in. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, yeah, you can pull yourself yeah, up. Yeah. Come Just on, get a shot of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come I've on. Never come had this like, you never had this? Never it's 350 a bottle. That means it's 20 dollars. Right. Right. Can I say can I God say damn it? Let's go, baby. Real quick, I'll say this because yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> Bro, I'm so happy for you. Yeah. No, hold on, we can, we'll get back to that. You're gonna send some ace, baby. Nah, nah, send so some ace, we, we, we get to that. But like I was saying, going uh -huh. back to it all, mm -hmm. I had a lot of a lot on me because I was the first artist right. on a brand new label, and they were independent. Yeah. Right. But they had a shitload of like revenue. penalty was independent. Yeah, penalty was yeah. independent. Yeah, but were you around with the Brian Lee days? Yeah, B came in <laughs> in between my first and my second album, mm. and so. Flush, I think, was his whole on first hand, like, just be at the helm, his wow. audience. Wow. When I, when he came, I was the first one, the first project he actually was like, okay, I'm here. Mm. This is the first project he was working on. Mm. And then from there, like, like, shout out B. Leach. That's my brother for life. We went through so much, bro. Who? Brian Leach. Oh, yeah. Brian Leach. Okay. Yeah, right. shout out cool, Brian cool. Leach. We went through so much. Up, down, high, low, you know, dangerous shit, all sorts of shit. Was like, you there when you, I heard Yo Gotti was signed to TVT too. Yeah, that yeah, yeah absolutely. Get yeah. the fuck he out was. of here, yeah. man. Yeah. With he and all them, yeah. They had, he been, I, I, Yo Gotti been around that long? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you want better? Steve Gottlieb had the opportunity at one time to sign. Jay-Z. Jay Z, Damn. not only the I opportunity. I imagine DMX too, no? He could have signed DMX, he could have signed the Dog Pound. Wow. wow. And he could have signed Eminem. Wow. Because all of those people had somehow, some way, made their way up to that office. And on uh, each of them, for the life of me, I don't know why. Wow. He declined. How did you um, get hooked up with uh, Steve? Got him. Oh, okay. Like, bro, in the beginning, bro, I didn't... All I knew was I met her um, at a talent show. Right, a talent show. I heard that you met a talent right, show. I, I was and you really didn't even rhyme, that you said at that time. Nah, bro, the way I started, like, I started as a DJ. Oh, right, he was a DJ. And I got that because of going to Large Crib right. every day. Like you said, I grew up with Large. Like, right. Large literally was the first person my mom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going too far, too fast. Oh, so Calm down, stay with oh, the other story. So cool. yeah, <laughs> now, so Large actually interacting at that crib, that made me get technique. You know, so every day I was going to Hot Watch, getting right. records, 12 inches, all that shit. Right. And that was just the culture back then. Why you go transition from DJing to, to, to artists? By because accident. And, and your first record that you ever did mm -hmm. was your demo, and that demo happened to be Absolutely. your single, and that single happened, happened to, be to be your first fucking hit record. Let's make some fucking crazy. noise. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That was the first that was time the demo and then the first single I had never everything. in my life recorded a record before Shit's Real. Matter of fact, when I was recording Shit's Real, the nigga got he stopped this shit halfway. Was like, between, you and he was like, before? yo, you ain't never did this shit before? Right. And I was like, nah. And he's like, you sure? <laughs> and I was like, nah. And he's like, you comfortable? I said, yeah, he just did the ill, maniacal. I know you heard that yeah, laugh, no, that yeah, earth yeah, laugh, yeah, like, yeah. Whoa, like, right. like that. Right. And then he was just like, yo, keep going, nigga. Right. And I ain't even have the hook, bro. Right. Cause I was so used to, like, me and Flush just being anywhere, anytime spitting. So I didn't really, I didn't even know song structure. 
Uh, I didn't know 16 bars. I didn't know the the hook comes in here. I right. didn't know, yo, whatever your hook is, that's the topic of this. So I was just, nigga, I was just a calico. You just held it down and I <laughs> But I'm going to tell you something. Knew. As a Queens nigga, right? Mm -hmm. When I seen the video, I thought you was from Jamaica. But listen, I'm going to tell you what it is. You I know, got family. You know, you know yeah. everybody in Queens right, right. <laughs> thought you was from Jamaica because you went to Basley right. and 40. Right. right. And, and I went look, look back at the video this time. I did see Casino Boulevard. Right. We was in, it, front of, it, in, front of, in front of a mall. It, it, it flew down. over my head as, right. a, as, a, as a young nigga in Queens. Uh -huh. Because back then, it, 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 Basley and 40 was like so much... Mm -hmm. More known mm -hmm. at the time, everyone mm -hmm. and everyone from Basie and Forty claimed you. It was like, yeah, he from he from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so like, how, how was that? How was that like? For, well, I mean, on a personal side, mm -hmm. my cousin lived in Southside. He lived in Bricktown. My cousin Reb, shout out my cousin Reb. So I would be at Reb crib every day, then. Mm -hmm. You know, if I right. wasn't in, in Carlisle or Colden, mm -hmm. I would go to Southside. So mm -hmm. I knew Southside. Plus, mm -hmm. when when I was a kid, we lived right. on Fern Place. Wow. You know what I mean? So uh, I did a lot of moving around as a kid, but like you said, uh, keep everything in the lane, you'll uh, get to it. You right. feel me? Yeah, yeah. So right. I knew niggas from Southside. Right. And you know, like, I'll be honest, I was I was outside, bro. Right, right, right. Well, you right, know right. what I mean? Right, I, was, right. I was outside. Right. I was outside. Right. So I knew older dudes from that. But did you ever get slack from flushing? Because like a lot of people did think that you was from Jamaica. I, you know what it was? They would be like, I would, at the most, I would get like, yo, son, why you don't rep the block, man, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, y'all niggas is crazy. Because we got to be clear. Prodigy, everyone knows deep down inside with, you know, rest in peace and God facts, bless, facts, God bless the dead facts. and all of that. But mm. everybody knows P was never from the bridge. Yeah, and if it was you like a, Queens, you it, definitely did. It, it, it was like a secret. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when we, we seen that first video with you, a lot of people thought that that was the move that you were making, like claiming. Oh, they thought yeah, I was, oh, I, yeah, no, oh, I'm being honest. Nah, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. nah, this was all... Yeah. Sincere, like, I'll be honest. Because probably you remember the, the, the neighborhood that was more known. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it looked right. like, and it looked like, you know, because this is what it looked like. It looked like you was going to be Nas, direct competition. You know what I'm saying? You and, know, wow. And that, I'm just saying, like, yeah. I, it, I, I, maybe it was people strategically putting this together, or maybe this is mm -hmm. something that it just looked was like. Was the timeline you know, that close? I mean, it, it matter. It was a year before. It was very <laughs> it was very, very close. Close. I feel like it was the, like you came right before. 95, right? Yeah, but interesting. Oh, so so I know. Yeah, yeah. Nas yeah. actually yeah. was one of the first people that made me believe that shit's where it was going to do something. Wait a minute. Okay. Talk about that. I went to Large Crib. Maybe a week after we recorded Shit's Real. Wow. And we also did a B-side called Him and Heads, and we sampled Nas. We sampled the fucking man. He said some, some shit he said where he's like, I'm the fucking man. I'm going to stop said, you for a second. Because you and Nas don't have a record together, right? No. See, this is the crazy thing. When you did him and, you see what he just said? Like, him and Nas not having a record together. Him and Big L not having a record together. Mm -hmm. You think there was no relationship there because... Sometimes the record does mark our history. Like right, you got a record with fucking Jay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But yeah, continue what you were saying. I'm sorry. No, nah, it's cool. No, so um, I you remember playing them. him hem and heads. It, and it no, was, oh, no, shit is real, you said. Yeah, uh -huh. like, I, but first I played him the B-side. Okay. And it was just me and him and Lars. Uh -huh. Me and him and P was in the crib. And I played the, the shit, and then I played them shit's real. Wow. And they got mad quiet. And I'm not going to lie, when they got quiet, I kind of was like, uh-oh. Like, like, you thought your shit was whack? Yeah, so for a high set, bro, because yeah, yeah. I was like, you could hear a cricket, like, uh, uh, what's up? Uh, uh, and the nigga... And when you, you know, say they, who is they? Paul Nas. Nas. You said Paul. So you we don't know who that's Paul. Paul. We don't know who's Lars Professor, right, goddamn. Right, we, right, we, we, which is crazy. We ain't next door neighbors with Lars Professor, man. Everybody ain't next door neighbors with Lars Professor. Yeah, I know about that, but... So Lars and Nas is the only ones in the in the crib. And first, Nas was like, yo... That first shit you played where you like sample my shit, he's like, nah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like that one. He's uh -huh. like, but yo, that shit's real shit. Uh -huh. Yo, you should be on the radio tomorrow. Uh -huh. And when he said that, I was kind of like, like I kind of was like, whoa. And you gotta understand, just like I was telling, I was a DJ, mm -hmm. so the whole rap shit, to mm. me, I think and it had to actually... And really your first two records. You first ever. two records. Aha, uh -huh, man. <laughs> and then Large did the... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Your impersonations that, are I on point. That, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think that's you. I 
think that's you. I think that's you, Mike G. I think that's you, Mike G. And Illmatic had dropped or Illmatic ain't dropped yet? No, not yet, okay. but I had the privilege of... Hearing Illmatic prior. Yeah, like... But he, had, he was already buzzing because he had done the joints to Live at the Barbecue and, and Back to the Yeah, at that right. point when, when he was like... Around our neighborhood, I want to say he was just dealing with. I think he was dealing with searching them. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And I think that was like a little bit before Illmatic came out. And Sid is real is ninety five though, right? Around that time, and ninety four, ninety five. Can we can we can we fact check that? And Illmatic, I want to I want to because I want to say something. And it's crazy because, like I said, I never. Well, it was just something I was doing, and to be honest, I was just like. Like, people would say, why did you do Shit's Real? And I'd be like, at that time, running around, not being certain. Of, and you know how it was back then. Like, we got friends that's not here. Right. You know, from that time. Right. And I just looked at it like, all right, well, if I do this, at least I won't just be... 94. 94. Real? That's yeah. right. They're right there. Shit is Real? And then Illmatic is 92? or. Oh, 90. No, no, it's right there. So it's right there. Yeah. And then you gotta remember, these singles are being dropped for DJs way before these albums mm-hmm. are coming out. I wanna ask you something. What's up? I wanna, I want you to fact check it. So April 19th, Illmatic 94, and then Shit is Real was June 10th, 94. Okay. Yeah, see, you see? It's I, weird, bro. So let me, let me answer this question for mm-hmm. you. Did you drop, because I was in jail, so obviously I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't. You were, because I could swear, I remember the day I met you. Yeah, I was, I was in jail, bro. Yeah, I was in jail, yeah. I could pull one too. Wow. So, so, this is what we don't, this is what I don't know. Mm-hmm. Did you actually drop, because I first seen the video, it was just the video. Mm-hmm. I never had heard the record, but I was in Poughkeepsie, New York. They ain't playing, you know, everything. So, wow. uh, this is a question I don't know the answer to. Shoot. So, did you ever drop the record first and then the video, or, or was like how Beyonce is doing now, the video and the record nah, at the same the record time? Had to be what fun. happened was Irv had decided, like, we recorded it, and I think he was getting a response from, you know, like people in the game. Uh-huh. And at that time, we was going to the labels okay. simultaneously. Okay. And I remember him one night being like, yo, man, this shit ain't, yo, fuck that. I'm pressing this shit up on my own. We gonna press this shit up and just shoot the video. And I remember being like, how? And he was like, I don't know. But we gonna figure that out. This shit is real. Right. Well, that wasn't Hype who shot that video, right? Yeah, it was. That was Hype fucking wow. Williams? That was and you Hype ain't gonna, you gonna just skip over that part? Wow. No. He said it nonchalantly. You tell me stay here, no, stay here. No, 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 no. You said it nonchalantly. I get to the Hype yeah, shit. Yo, yeah, shout out throw, Hype Williams yo, because you know, Hype like that shot out. that shit on a camera that was no bigger than this bottle. So in a lot of ways, and I'm, I'm saying this for, for our, you had something to do with the beginning of Hype and the beginning of Earth. Wow. Let's pull, pull you some more eight, my guy. Let's pull you some more eight. like a shot time, too. Oh, no, yeah, I am. I am. I'm talking. Oh, yeah, I'm with shot time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yo, so you know what? It was just... Uh-huh. I don't know, bro. I guess it was just what it was supposed to be because there was all these first things happening, right. but in conjunction with each other. And it, and it wasn't oh, just no. that. It was I happening so fast. What, what kind of shot you want, sir? What you doing? I'll do some of Colada or White Grape. I, I told you, you shoot, I grab the right. wood. Let's, let's do, do what you Let's do summer colada. We don't got no watermelon? No. We all right. Racist. We ran out of all the watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Racist, man. Huh? Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Nah, so, I, like I was saying, it, it was just bar because it was all these things happening, and it was happening so fast, bro. Right. Just so fast. And it was happening so fast that when he pressed shit's real, like, there's an original 12-inch that's a black label. With a like silver Mike Geronimo heading on it, whatever. Not the one with the picture of you. No, on it. right, right. I'll that's be, the right. shit's Irv press. Mm. And after he pressed them, yeah, we would go everywhere, bro. We went to any club that any DJ was at at that time, and either he would give him the record or he would send me. Like I remember giving it to Flex in the Palladium. Mm. And I was you just. Remember, you used to have to give your records to a DJ. Facts, nigga. bro. Not email. Nah, not, not, not email. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he's a DJ too, so he kind of already knew. But what you it know what's crazy? I didn't look at it like. I think it was one of them things. Like sometimes being oblivious to something is the best thing in the world. Mm. Because you just. Take the shot and explain that. Like ignorance no, is shot. bliss type shit. Salute. <laughs> Salute. 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 Salute.
What's yeah, that? it's good. All right, cool. We got if anybody wants to join me, I'm gonna want it. That was good. Well, when we take the next shot, can I have another one? Yeah, yeah, we got you. Great. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, so continue. where was we? Um, so I remember. That you were oblivious, you said. Like, I wasn't preparing right. myself before I would walk up on anybody. I wasn't like, let me give them my sales pitch or right. none You're of that speaking. shit. Right. I'll just go up to the DJ and I'll be like, yo, my name's Mike Like, you were scared to give Tupac your CD. No, I wasn't scared, but... I think you going fast What now. I remember get... is... Right, hey, Irv hey, kind of... I did my studies. Right, in that right. scenario, Irv thrusted me into it. We was at Freaknik. Mm-hmm. In Atlanta. Right. To go back, what I said to Flex was, yo, my name's Mike Geronimo. I did this record. If you like it, all I ask is you prompt it. If you don't, break this shit over your knee and you'll never Which hear I'm from sure me again. Better right. than he hears from most people. And now <laughs> that I think about it, when I'm older, I'm like, that. well, that was kind of ballsy for you to do yeah, as it was, a child. Yeah, and you said it's a Tupac. I, 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 yeah, yeah, same thing. Yeah, because you know what it is? You're giving me an option not to like you. Did, did I? Yeah, no, did I, don't, I, I don't think so, yeah, man. As a know, DJ, I, I respect the way he's coming no, up. No, okay. but I think he's right, and I'm going to tell no, you why. Let me just tell you something. As a hustler, I don't give you a... I, I, he's option not a, give you right. Option A is sell, know, and option B is sell in a different way. <laughs> it's not how many DJs people... DJs are used to cocky-ass artists keep coming up to you like yeah. your shit is the best in the world. And it's like, yeah, I, I, I'm talking about Tupac. I ain't oh, talking no, about the DJ. The, yeah, I'm talking about the DJ yeah. Pac was yeah, different. Like, if you give me an alternative, no, different. Different. if you come up to me and you give me an alternative, I'm going to always pick the alternative because it's like, all right, cool, you down yourself to but a certain extent. I didn't tell Pac that. Yeah, you did. I did say that? Yeah, you did. You I did. said yeah, that You pitch? said that's your top five. Yeah. I did that's how I know that story. God damn. Yeah. Can, can the real Mike Geronimo stand up? No, no, no. I've never met Pac. I, 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 I don't see the no, interview with you. I remember we was at Freakman. <laughs> okay. And we was in the van. And, and Earl said, Pac, you see like, yo, there's Pac right there yeah. in front of the hotel. Mm. And the nigga Pac was smoking, you know, the, the he's smoking a blunt, chilling. Right. And I'm like, nah, I'm not going over there. That nigga mm. just smoking. I'm not bothering mm. this dude. What are you doing? Mm. And he's like, nigga, go give him your CD. So now, since I right. see the, the tone, you know, I'm kind of... Right, it's kind of more... Nigga, go... I was yeah. like, wait, hold on, bro. Like, as if you were scared. You had right, to right. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, wait, don't <laughs> pull the Marty McFly <laughs> shit on me. <laughs> so right. I was like, all right, fuck it. So right. I jump out the, the van, and I take the sticker, because at the time, we had these little red stickers with Mike Geronimo on. I take right. the sticker, I take the CD, and I walked right up on a nigga pocket. He was all into his blunt. Right. And I was like, yo, bro, I don't want to bother you, you know, right. but my name is Mike Geronimo. I, I spit, whatever it was I said. And right. I was like, here's my CD. And I was like, if you like it, rep it. If you don't like it, yeah. break it over your knee. Yeah, exactly. But he didn't trip. Right. And it was crazy because he looked at the CD and then he took the blunt and he was like, and he looked at me and he's like, what you said, Mike Geronimo? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, all right. And I walked away. Let's take a shot to Mike motherfucking Geronimo. <laughs> Salud. 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 And I didn't know whether he was going to play that shit or not, bro. And next time you seen him was in the tunnel? Yeah. The first time that we... Yeah. People got you held him down. Right. People yeah. got to understand, Took like... Take your shot, brother? I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> you got to finish this shit over here. This is not called half you a shot. Damn, shot. Man. I'll see what you on now. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, don't worry. I'm going to hit fifth gear because yeah, I see yeah, you already, you oh, like, you know, foaming no, and left hand. We have you. We have right. to have you. Boom. So... We was in the tunnel, and people got to understand the umbrella I was under, to put it that way. Right. Right. But I know niggas know what I'm talking about. So right. it was certain folk connected to certain folk. Right. Um, and we was all rock? at the tunnel. Right. So I remember shout out BJ and shout out Stretch and and, and Bags. Rest in peace, Bags. You money bags. Yeah. Rest in peace, you money bags. Um, shout out Bags. Um, shout out. Um, these are the people that was there. Okay. So you know he's in the tunnel and. Mind you, I remember going uh, going up to him, but I like I was not. I'll be honest, I wasn't a fan of his music. Right. I wasn't. I heard well, you yes. almost say you didn't like him, like right. But you, like you, you, you got to put, put, put it in context of which Tupac. The first one is the Holler if you hear me, Tupac. I'm assuming. Right. So all and of that I wasn't is, into. So the Brenda got a baby was like the only record right. that I was like, yo, that nigga from the West Coast who sings that Brenda shit. That shit is. But Ill. that's the first one you mean, the, the Freaknik Tupac. Right. And that's then now, fast Tupac. forward and how many? What now years I'm meeting. Um, not Death Row Tupac yet, is it? No, not yet. You're on the cusp of becoming Death Row Pop. Okay. 
right. I want to see uh, me against the world. Me against the world. He's on the cusp. At the time, he definitely wasn't death row. Right. So it was me against the world. Right. All the OG niggas is discussing what they discuss. We're not paying no attention to that. It's me, Webb, Pac, my brother, and um. We the ones that decide to break away from that main ball. You know how it was, nigga. You yeah. came in, yeah. and there was the first ball here, and the Queens yeah. niggas would be on this side. The BK niggas would be on this side against the wall. Then you walk forward the end of the tunnel. So they was there talking whatever they was talking about, but the nigga Pac wanted to walk around. Mm. So me, um, my brother... And Red, we all broke off and started walking. And, and you're not Mike Geronimo yet. Oh, you Mike Geronimo? No, is this I shit is real. Okay, I okay, am. okay, okay. So, um, so this he 96, pulled weed 95, out. 95. So it, whenever the year the tunnel was right. like, like all roads lead here. That's oh, what yeah, that, that, was. that was. That was like ten years though. Thank so, but in the bro. area, I can just say that. So we start walking towards. Like that, where you know, where you break off in the center, and there's the dance floor. But on the right, there was like a, a hallway with like little mirrors. And you could like put your weed there, roll it, whatever. And that led to the backstage shit, if you walk this whole way. So first we start walking, and he pulls the weed out, and he's the point. He's on point. Pac. Right, he's in front of everybody. Wow. But he's not with y'all. Yeah. Oh, he's with y'all. Yeah, yeah. With he was like, yo, I wanna walk around. So I told BJ okay. and um, I was like, yo, I, we'll walk around, because we wanted to smoke. We was the young niggas that smoke weed all day. So you telling me BJ and Irv, guy, this is true, they actually met Pac. This is, they, they knew, okay. Yeah, I knew Pac because of BJ. Okay, wow. And because of Irv. Wow. And wow. Irv kind of, it's funny because Irv always would talk to me about Pac. Yeah, and doing a record with him? And doing a record mm. with him. All right. And I was in heavy opposition to it because I was like, I'm not working with anyone I fucked with on natural. That's not just for the sake of fucking with you to make a song. Right. These are my friends. These are this is my family. It feels so good now, bro, right. to look back at that album and be like, yo, these this is my family, right. bro. Which you album? Natural. Yeah. yeah. yeah even even Vendetta. Yeah. 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 Even Vendetta, the second okay, one. Okay. Right. Even working with, with Puff yeah, and yeah. Hitman and. Oh, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to right, that. We'll so get there. So we're gonna take another Shawak shot when we get to that. Oh, okay. nigga. Right, cool. I'm, I'm finished, behind we're you. Finished, I see your blankets. It's so yeah, yeah. good. Okay. So we walk in and a nigga bumped this nigga. The nigga had a yellow. As he was rolling the wheel. As he's rolling. Right. Now at that point. I couldn't rightfully say it's malicious or it had an intent to it. I, all you could say was somebody's walking forward, you walk in this way, boom, you collide the weeds on the floor. Right. So the nigga bumped him, but I didn't see the bump. Okay. Right. I just seen his face. Right. right? Right? So he does this shit, so I just like, on some quick shit, I was like, yo, don't, don't trip, we all right. Like, yo, just keep going. We all right, like, we wanna go this way, bro. Don't worry about it, whatever. So he takes a couple steps further, and another nigga bumps him. But now we're on that you, hallway. And you see that this guy. And I yeah. seen this one. Okay. And I swear on God, bro, on my kids, I never forget the look on his face because it was the first time that I said to myself, it must be a nightmare for somebody to have to consistently be persecuted. Mm. You talking about Tupac? About wow. Pac, because he had this look on his face that was like, yo, I'm so tired of this shit. And it didn't look like... And Pac had no security? Y'all was the security. We was the security. Wow. But when I seen... I, I'm not going to say... Uh, but the OGs we was with. Right. The affiliation. You feel me? Right. They so, were the security, but right. you was holding it down But I'm moment. holding it down. You my man's man. I'm not yeah. going to let... Right. We all here. We're gonna walk by, the, by default, nigga. Right. You feel me? Right. So I saw this whole interaction, and I never forget his face, and he just looked drained, bro. Uh -huh. He just looked not like I can't do this and I won't win. He just looked like, why do I have to keep doing this? Uh -huh. And when I seen it, I was infuriated. Mm. For him. Like, point for him. Right. And, at that, and it was so strange because anything that I may have felt prior to that evaporated. And as soon as I saw it, I immediately grabbed him by his shoulder. I said, yo, get behind me. And my brother, shout out my brother Kev. My brother was like, yo, we got, he's like, get between me and Mike. 
That's Pac telling us he with us right now. You heard that? Yeah. You heard me? Go ahead. So, you don't understand, I love that nigga, my nigga. More now, more than ever, you don't understand. I'm gonna get to another story. All right. So I just tell him, I'm like, yo, get behind me. Just get behind me. So, so now, I, right, so now he, I'm here, Pac's behind me, my brother's behind him, Oomph is behind my brother. Mm. And we keep walking to where we gonna go. I see a nigga fitting to come up again. Are these related events though, or just people the same night? The same night. The people this that are bumping them, are they, do they, is they, they yeah, together? That's I didn't know whether they all knew each right. other, or whether they were just taking advantage of a moment. Right, right. But at, when I saw like the witness, this, right, right. When I saw the second bar, I was like, nigga, all bets is off. Right. So now there's a third nigga, light skinned nigga, never forget. Light skinned nigga, taller than me, like curly ass hair, work, walking towards me. And I could just see the shit in his face. I could smell it. He on some bullshit. He on some bullshit. He on bullshit. Nigga, I had a pen in my pocket, bro. Right. Say I clutched the, the ballpoint pen yeah, in my pocket, I swear. <laughs> Ask where I'm at. I grabbed the pen in my pocket, and before the nigga gets to us, I stick my arm out. I was like, I'm going to tell you right now. The next nigga that bumps this nigga, I'm fucking everyone up in this club. Period. And I know what you don't. I'll get out. You won't. I'm going to be okay in, in more ways than one. You gonna learn a valuable lesson. The 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 tunnel. The tunnel is serious. And the, <laughs> and the nigga stopped, and the nigga said the most ignorant shit I've heard. The nigga was like, "Come on, Mike, them West Coast niggas." I said, "What the fuck has this nigga ever done to you? Right. You don't even know this nigga. Wow. What has this man ever done to you?" The next nigga that bumps this nigga, I will fuck this entire club up now. And that was it. Fire. Fire. And I didn't see him. That was the wild shit. Uh -huh. I didn't see him for a minute after that. Pop. Right. It's uh -huh. not like, yo. And then, and then they said that you was going to be the first East Coast death row East. Yes. Yeah. You know, I know my shit. Make some noise for me. Make some noise for me. You know my shit. You supposed to be the sex. That had to fuck you up because that, now, now listen, so that means you made a relationship with Pop. Pop, he, he was on the come up, but he was still not, because he, when he, he went to death row, so that means he must have got a death row and then he, he you know remembered it, that you night. You know, right, fat, and I okay. would always ask, but I think Tretch, too, had a little bit to do with it. Shout out to Tretch from Naughty by Nature. Yeah. Well, Tretch that H just stand there. You got to oh, drink no. that H, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is so great, yeah, I, man. I, I you told you, okay. I watched the, 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 the Pitbull episode. Okay, oh, no, no, no. That's I Pitbull. did a whole he's movie, too. I was like, whoa, he's wait, the leader. wait. Yeah, he's the leader. So, right? I said, I got to go home in one piece. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, so mm. you, there's a tunnel incident. Right, and I don't okay. hear from him. You don't hear from him. Now, other niggas that... Let's be real about it, bro. Some niggas know where they are, at what space, at what time. Right. You know where you are. You right. know what your opportunities are in front of you. Right. Again, I'm gonna reiterate, I wasn't looking for none of this shit, bro. Right. right. So it's not like I seized the opportunity and said, yo, I'm going, I'm plugged with this nigga, let me right. stay in contact, so right. down the road. Like you're networking and shit. I ain't do right, none right, of that. Right. Right. But Irv would always come back to me. And then Nichols comes into play too. Shout out to Nichols. Um, Irv would always come back to me and be like, yo, the nigga Pac said, tell you what's up. He's like, yo. Irv's communicating. Right. Oh. He's like, yo, he asked how that's you hard. doing. I said, and I would be like, wow, really? Like, yo, that's my nigga. Tell him I'm okay, man. Tell him I'm this, cool. This is still pre-death row, Pac. Still pre-death. Okay, the, yeah. pre, Still pre-death rows. But he would always be like, yo, you gonna do a song with Pac, nigga. And I would always still be, but at that, after that experience, I was like, I would totally do it, but it's still not nothing I'm pressing. If he comes to me and right. he says this is what he feels and he wants to do it, yeah. Because now this nigga to me, I feel a bond because of that incident. Mm. And I think the personal moment where I knew, like, I could say, all right, this is my friend. Mm. There was a party at the Palladium. And Tell me it's not the one Biggie was at. 
I think Big was there. Okay, all right, let me be quiet. But I can't rightfully. Let me just I let know you Jermaine go. Dupree was there. Okay, let me let you go. Right, shout out Jermaine Dupree because Jermaine Dupree and the brat pulled me on the stage. This I feel was like, like this, this story deserves another shot. It okay, do. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, you know what? That's just like, legendary already. No, okay. to, Continue though. To all my that's all my niggas in here that's 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 in the game, I know you know that. Talk. Like it was the first industry party I had ever. Industry event rapper. Palladium, mine was Essos. Okay, but, boom. Um, yeah, yeah. So I walk in and again the timid shit, the quiet mic uh-huh. shit, but the first nigga that greeted me was Method Man. Mm-hmm. And I'm not gonna lie, I was enamored when I walked in because That's I'm, a big word, Mike. We don't know what that means. I'm so you sorry. Like, I'm not just Sorry, Tia. What did you say? No, he got yeah, balls, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you I'm sorry, we got we got dumb followers. I'm sorry. Anab- 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 we don't got dumb followers. I was just dumb, I mean, like, like, anab- I was just zoned out. Okay, okay. From being like, oh shit, that's the M E T H O D man, yeah. dude. And you a fan of the culture, man? Right. This, after this is after shit. Okay. Yeah, he's right. a so, fan of the culture. Right. So this yeah. is when Irv is making me like, you know that part of this shit is being a politician. Right. So you gotta go shake hands and, and kiss, kiss babies, babies yeah. and rescue people from fires. Right. And, you know, you, you got to a certain extent. Exactly. Go ahead. In a figurative manner. Right. So I'm just like bugging out because these are all the people I watch on Video Music Box when I come home. Remember your train of thought, but let's finish this shot. No, no, that's, oh, that's the ace. That's look. not a shot. All right, let's do that. Salud. Ah. Salud. Ah. All right. Another This is to Mike Geronimo, motherfucker. <laughs> so, um, so I walk in and then I see Guru. Guru. Right. But I knew Guru from Large Crib. Because a lot of people would come over to Large Crib, I was using and I knew them from the just right. being at his crib, and they would just walk right in. So Guru, I knew. Rest in peace. Rest so in you peace. Remember Guru. Guru, but you don't, you ain't for parole or nothing like that, right? Say what? You ain't on parole or nothing like that, right? No, no. Right, you can smoke. You want to smoke? Yeah, right, absolutely. Cool. Right, nigga, this, 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 this is funny. This is this is <laughs> the Moon Rock. We got Moon Rock moon in there. Rock. This is motherfucking uh, uh, Smoke Champs. Uh, moon Rock. Wait, we got wait. our own version of Moon Rock. Wait, hold yeah. up. And has that's Blazy Susie. That's Blazy Susie. Absolutely not bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a Blazy Susie paper. Got no torches in there. Get oh, yeah. oh, they got a cigar? Yeah, Let me see bit. what kind of cigar. Is that a cigar? cigar? It's that's just my grind. Okay, that's hard. But that's my go-to. That's hard. That's, hard. that's, that's, my, that's my Monday through yeah. Thursday. I'm let's make some more. Let's make some more. I'm fucking Monday through Thursday. All right, here's your training talk. I told you not to forget it. I'm not. Okay, go on. So I see these people, and I'm like starstruck, right? And then I get, And then I kind of get like, well, what do I say? How do I act? with it? And I guess like Guru must have saw that. And he was just like, what's up, Mike? Don't worry about nothing. Let's come on, let's drink. Let's have a toast. He's a great dude, man. Great I mean, dude. Yo, I miss yeah. him so much. Yeah. But he's a drink champ, by the way. Yeah, he's he, 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 he's a drink champ. Yeah. 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 He's a drink champ. Everything yeah. with Guru. Yeah. Yeah. See, I know you know. Yeah, 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 everything yeah. With, with Guru would be. Let's have a toast. Yeah. Right, right, right. Everything. Might be too much of a drink champ. That's some crazy. So, boom. So meth made me feel good, like he gave me dap, and I'm like, oh wow, and like my head is spinning. You like Alice in Wonderland, bro. But I'm sure they're fan of you as well. That's, that's what you're saying. saying. That's, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. That's why like, spinning. It's like that scene in Goodfellas when they got married, and this is Petey, this is cousin Paulie, this right. is but everybody's giving you a right, right, and you you just like, spinning, yeah. head spinning, yeah. and um, Pac was there. And the ill shit was the nigga came right up to me and he just grabbed me. See, but Big Homie was there too. Shout out Preem. I love you, Pop. I love you, Pop. That's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. So Preem was there too. So we all came with Preem. Shout out Blackie. Blackie just rest in peace. Cause oh, Black just, just Black, was, of course. Yeah, Blackie Blackie was just Black. Yeah. Shout out Preem too. Shout out Preem too. Yeah. Shout out P too. Right. But we gonna go there. So, you know, I'm with them. Uh-huh. And you know my personnel, like I said, I'm quiet. Right. I, I'm just trying to figure out my direction, absorb it all. And I, the the minute that I felt better was when Pac came up, and that nigga was just smiling, and the nigga just grabbed me and was like, yo, baby bro, why you look so nervous? Right. And I was like, I look nervous. He's like, yo, stop, man. This is after he came home and he on death yeah, row? Yeah, he was in the... I don't know if he signed a death row. I can't okay, rightfully yeah. recall who he okay. was with, but... Okay. All I know, he grabbed me, he's like, yo, why you look so nervous? And I was just like, 
do I look nervous? And he was like, nigga, yeah, loosen up. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, yo, loosen up, man. He's like, yo, we gonna have fun tonight, Mikey. Okay. And he just grabbed me and he's like, come on. He took me to, like, there was some area where we was all sitting, like, Preem was here and right. with Blackie and they was with other official niggas. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we here. And, and then at one point of the night, I remember something happened on stage and... Jermaine Dupri just told me, yo, Mike John, and he just grabbed me and pulled me on the stage. And again, the Alice in Wonderland shit. This right. is all. all right, so Jermaine Dupri. What? Uh, Nigga, like, uh, I'm like, yo, I'm from Queens, bro. Uh, I'm uh, just from. Uh, <sighs> and I remember at one point I met a girl. You used to knock a lot of things down back in the days. I don't remember. Stop I don't remember that. that. I don't remember that. Let's make some noise, too. Let's make some noise. You understand me? You're down there porno star. Don't talk to me like that. Stop your love. Wait a minute now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Make some noise, man. We're in the fourth lane. Look, we're in the fourth lane now. The niggas like, keep up. No, no, no. Stick with what you say. So fucking boom. So I met a bad chick that night. I met a bad chick, and I was like, like this was like my first, you know. Yeah. And the nigga. Need apple palm. Fact. Okay. So. I go to Pac and I'm like, yo, you got a pen, bro? Like, yeah. I just met this crazy, yo, I need a pen real quick. And the nigga start laughing so hard at me, bro. He's but like, for young pen. people that don't know, a pen back in the day, <laughs> when you bag the girl, <laughs> you need to write the number down. Right. Yeah. But mind you, but I'm you, still with You can just, just say it like that. These young boys can be like, why you want a pen what? for? You want to stab the right. They're like, yo, you're a case. You stabbed the dude earlier, remember? We had a pen earlier, so you just make sure that they know the difference. All right, so this Nick, time, pens are important in these conversations. Pens are important to get some pussy this if time. Okay, all right, all right. Save yes, my life. Yes, all right. So fucking um, he just started laughing. He's like, "Nigga, you don't need no pen. Yeah, just do what I do." That's exactly what he said. Mm -hmm. He's like, "Nigga, just do what I do." Mm -hmm. He's like, "You don't need no pen, Mikey." And that was the minute I said to myself. Let's be clear. Pac was knocking down a lot of things. He'd been a movie but star But you know what's beginning. crazy, bro? I didn't. That didn't come into play with me. Mm. Like, I, I'll, I will say, mm. with me, it's funny. My wife's cousin says it best. He's like, yo, he starts slow, but once the motor gets gunning, he's, he's 100. <laughs> so none of these things are, am I saying or yeah. taking into my, my frame of thought. I just know that at that point in time, I was like, all right, this is my man. Right. This is my friend. All right. I don't care where he's, he's from. He's looking out for you. He's talking right. to you, right? He's trying to tell me to, yo, Mike, enjoy your life. You don't understand where you landed. And then when he come, all right, so I'm sorry to switch gears, but then we come at you for Death Row East. At this time, this is your third album already, right? This was, I think I was just no, I was actually beginning to work on the second album. But the second album, it just had to be weird then. It was then, very weird. Oh, it was okay. very uncomfortable. Because the second album is like bad boy. You could hear Puff on your ad libs on yeah. damn near almost yeah. every track. And it was so bro. And you telling me so so he so you think that he was giving you this I'm gonna drop a story with you Please. that I've never publicly told. Please. There was a club called um Esso's, I think. Esso's, yeah, I just said that earlier. Yeah. And I remember it was me and Reb. I remember Clark Kent being in there. I remember all the junior mafia niggas was there. Mm. At some point, it had got, you know how I go. It's too hot and too smoky in this venue. I need to walk outside for our Earl right here. Right. right? So Reb is like, yo, can I smoke a cigarette in here, bro? No cigarettes, everything else. <sighs> Kanye, no my cigarettes, God. Everything else. What the <laughs> fuck, bro? You can go with a cigar. Shit. No cigarettes. You know, uh, I'm three years it. clean. I'm off oh, the you wagon, are? yeah. How'd you do it? I started smoking CBD. Yeah. Did, did you still, cause here, it's, serious, it's a very And we're gonna go right back to the web yeah. story. But, but yeah. listen. All right, let's go. If you I'm could ready. give me advice with that. Oh, that's easy, it's very easy. Um, so what'd you do? No, it's very not easy. Let me just stop that. Yeah, hold on, hold on. The way I just said that was just terrible. Right. No, 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 no. For a real smoker, I've been smoking since I was 11. 14. Okay, so this is how you do it. You smoke weed. Yeah, all day. I smoke weed all day, right? So Facts. at the time is, only time I smoke a bogey is to calm my high down almost. Yeah. That's the only time I'm I sorry. Oh, wait, time <laughs> out. You're the yes, only yes. person in the world who understands. Yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you. It's too much high. Yeah, yeah. It's so too look, much high. So look, let me 
me tell you this. Sit down. So, really, when I was smoking a cigarette was just to pull my high down. down. It wasn't. It was so. I do I not want to feel like I'm on Ritalin. Yeah, no. So what happened well, was one day. Mm-hmm. I go to my people, big up to Eli and Laurel Farms, big up to my people in Laurel Farms, we're right. in LA, and he says, look at this. He just gives me a pack of, which looks like cigarettes, right. but it's CBD. Okay. So the thing is, I failed because I kept trying to smoke vapor. Mm. You know, vapor, vapor is never going to fulfill a cigarette guy. It's not because the same Because this is what we used to. Right. We used to do this. Oh my God. So CBD, and I, so CBD, when I did the CBD, I would subconsciously look at it and say, this is a cigarette. Mm. And it would give me the same thing as a cigarette, because a cigarette doesn't make me high, a cigarette calms me it down. Calms me. That's what CBD is, you yeah, know what I'm you saying? You know how many people don't get that? Oh, that's what I'm saying, that's why I got my CBD bogeys coming out. You know what I'm saying, it's called yeah. a good cool, oh, coming out. No, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm not trying to make money off of this. This is a full pure No, fact. this is a real talk. I really, I really, sat down with my friends the other day and I thought about my flight schedule. I really couldn't even take an hour flight. I, I, excuse me, I couldn't take a five hour a five flight. Hour a five flight. hour no. flight, because I needed a bogey. So the most I could do was two and a half hours. I couldn't even fly to LA straight. Nigga, I, I swear to God, that's how much that's I was trying to no, fucking no. get He brings yes, up a substantial I still do it to this no, day. Imagine, <laughs> imagine flying to Israel. Yeah. Oh I had to take 15 planes. With no cigarettes. Yeah. I oh, there's no drunk. cigarette when you land? I you? couldn't, I couldn't, no, I had to, but the pressure on my body, chemically, Ooh. my body was like, yo, if we don't get a cigarette right now, we're gonna punch a hole in this fucking cockpit. Wow. Like that, I, I'm not even gonna lie, it's the worst thing I do as a, as an individual that I want to get rid of. So for cigarette. you to get, yes, I got your back. I, we're gonna get you on that Eli, please. uh, Lowell Farms, please. CBD. Bars, 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 you bars, 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 so I got one more question, and then we're gonna bring in the Honorable Royal Flush. Yes, sir. So you were Lars Professor's neighbor? Yeah. What the fuck? How does this work? It's crazy, because we all grew up in Carlisle. Mm. So Lars was really, you know how you got that one person with, like your mama on some real shit from our ever, your mama be like, who you outside with? And you give her the the, the, the name roster, and, and right? Lodge you give her a good the name, like, right? Mom's Lodge. like, right. if but I would tell you call him Paul, right? Okay. So if we I don't say, call him Paul. no, we, we call I, him Lost Professor. I hope he's not offended by yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. You know I love you. So we would call like I would be like, Mom, outside, and J. Raff from Lost Boys. Shout out J. Raff, J. J. If I said to my mama, I'm with J. J. and Paulie, my mama would be like. Oh, okay. okay, you can stay in the park till right. 7, 8 o'clock. Yeah, till the sun go down. Right, right, till the sun go down. So that was literally him and Vin. Savannah, so who's Nas um, Carmen's brother. Oh, wow. Damn. So Paulie, I mean, Lodge and Vin were the first person, people I literally knew, and Jay Raff, that my moms would be like, okay, you can stay outside and play in the park. Like, literally. So Lodge Professor... Was he the one who put hip hop in your brain? I think, but I don't oh. think in an intent. I don't think he intentionally did. It. What I think Lodge knew, and I, what I think Van definitely knew was this shit is for him, but he doesn't know. You gotta understand, bro. I was kind of like a, a widow growing up. I could admit that because I was into so many things that the hood didn't fuck with. Like, I freestyled and rode vert on Harrow bikes. I, I wore, like, Vision Streetwear and yeah. Vans. Mm. I had a... a Did you see you with some Vans on? It's right. Like, I, had a, I had a, a, a Santa Cruz Slashes skateboard with grip skate, tape I on. Skated I, skated, all day. I skated all day. Yeah, Mark Gonzalez was yeah, my favorite skateboard. I skateboarded the Jordans, though. Right, but lie. niggas would tease me to Vision know it. So I was just a, a widow. I was just but like, then it became the cool as hip hop later. Yo, you know how much I laughed? Now that I, 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 I introduced y'all to Pharrell, it became right. cool. But nah, continue. Our, our continue. future really is the ones that really brought nah, it. Nah, I think Pharrell started really the skateboard not. being cool in hip hop. Right. right. To an extent. And Wayne. 
Wayne and too. Wayne, no, listen, Pharrell started it. But I All think Odd the... Future solidified it. He kind of did, though. Uh, well, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. They're not going to get Lupe this is not going to get Lupe kick and push. No, no, he's kick and push. But, but, but yeah, but I don't know. It's Pharrell didn't kick and push. Look at the whole Odd Future crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even saying this. Pharrell didn't kick and push? No, I'm saying Pharrell didn't kick and push. No, I'm saying Pharrell didn't kick and push. It started from Pharrell. I was about to say. Riding a skateboard. Then. Lupe was Lupe. accepted right of the skateboard. Right. Then our future officially stamped but, it. But Pharrell wasn't like you. a legit skater skater. And he, he's not just skater he skated in nah, but our future, those guys skate skate. Him and Chad used to, they always used to. Skate. Like, they legit skate. Hey, man. I'm, I'm just saying. saying. I'm, I'm right, talking man. from a skater perspective as well. Yeah, you ain't no skater. Wait, wait, wait. I was a skater, bro. I was a skater, too. Mr. Lee, this was a skater. I just told you right stay now, Mark Gonzalez is my favorite skater of all time. Stay on top. Yeah. Stay on top. Let's stay where we at. <laughs> we so ain't I, never talk about you being a skater. No, it's like it was, the presidential debate. Thrasher magazine and Trans World yeah. magazine. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look this shit up. Tom Peralta. You ain't never been no skater. Peralta. Let's take a vote right now. How many people think he ever used to skate? Raise your hand. Yeah, I know he did. He said Peralta. Right. How many people think Nori used to skate? Raise your hand. Hell no. No. Oh, fuck yeah. You used to run away. I used to ride Vert all day, every day. Ron Wilkerson was the first person that inspired me. Go look up. Ah, right, y'all got Wilkerson. names and shit. Y'all want. Uh, anyway, I, I was a weirdo. Yeah. I was a weirdo by yeah. hood standards. Yeah, my I mother, mother, living mother in a, was close Nigga, out. I lived in Corona in the hearse. <laughs> and niggas was like, yo, you a fucking weirdo. Why is you coming out here with a skateboard and fucking uh, a Harrow bike in Vision Street? I got teased, bro. Wow. So then when I grew up and I got into this shit, it was more unorthodox to me. Because mm. I was like, you the same niggas that was fucking persecuting me. Now all of a sudden I'm cold. Right. Because it's shit real, man. And right. shit real. I, and and, 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 and I'm going I'm to be honest about it. It's funny how life works because it's funny how that became my staple. Mm. My staple somehow, some way, inadvertently became just be you because everybody else is taken. Mm. Fire. Make noise of that. Come on, flush, get flush in here. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, give him the deuce. You want to do the deuce? Yeah, All right, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Are you going, we doing the deuce? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. God, yeah. Oh, you, know, you know he a half queen. I need some nigga. brown. <laughs> <laughs> what we toasting to? We toasting to fucking flushing right now. There we go. God damn it. Yes. God damn it. What's that shit you got with? That's so the bland. This is my hood. This is my hood. This is my hood. Shout out Nussle. So. I love you. I thought you were So, yeah, so flush. You did a shot for Pupu? Ah. After Law's Professor, Mike Geronimo mm. had, had after, after, after Law's Professor, right. Mike Geronimo had flushing. And I want to ask you the same question I asked him earlier. His first video was like the breakout artist from flushing, right? Mm. But a lot of people thought he was from Jamaica because of that. Did you receive that same type of slack or no? Um, I, I, I knew him from, from the neighborhood. I knew him from Carlisle. Right. You know, rest in peace, my man Jamal. Right. My Monk, cousin Rashad. Monkey 50. Like, they, they used to do the softball thing and shit. Uh -huh. so baseball. I, I, baseball, baseball. Okay. Yeah, that okay. Little League, Little League. Okay, Little League. Okay. I, I was Indian. in Little League. I was Brion in Little League. Brion is Indian. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. thank you. I, I knew of him from being in the neighborhood or whatever. When I seen the video, I definitely seen Herb. I thought he was from Jamaica. Right. But then he came around the way and he was shooting a video by, by Mars. And it was my neighborhood. So I was like, I got to get in it. So I'm a kid rolling the dice. Uh, so I uh, got in it. Mm -hmm. That's the B-side? Nah, that was nah, the Shit's Real video. Real. Oh, when, okay. you, when you did see Casino? Oh, and that was, oh, yeah, that, that was okay. me out through the dice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's, that's how you know me and him linked up like that real tight. And then one time I went to go do a show. Well, he did a show in Irvin. Um, what show? Yeah, what club was that? Melton Pot, I Melton think? Melton Pot. And yeah. Irv, Irv, Irv didn't come... Nobody, nobody that he messed with came, but the label came like Vera, Vera, Vera yeah, they Wanda. all came. That's, yeah. the, that's so, Blunt TVT. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's but I, I, I was just from Colden. I'm just a street nigga from Colden. Right. So I went to the show, and he was on stage by so he called me and said, oh, you came out? He called me on stage. No, you skipped the part What's when that? we was on the step outside. Well, we smoking for him. Because you, you asked there. me, he was like, so who rocking with, with you? you? And I was like, no one. And I was like, come on stage with me and fuck around. Because you was rhyming at, at Large Crib, too. Yeah, yeah, I was there with yeah. everybody. So was there. Me, Nas, everybody. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, come on, come on. All right, all right. <laughs>
What's going on at Large Crib, by the way? Large Crib, you don't understand, bro. Large I'm trying to get advice. What is it? Like, shit, I'm shit. 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 i am shit i and, and, and Lars had that in Flushing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I didn't wow. know about this. Or, like we Q-Tip would Queens just walk through, everybody just Queens came up Atlanta. there. Queens Lounge. Queens Lounge. Yeah, that's what his name oh. for. Holy shit, wow. he said Atlanta. I was like, what does Atlanta <laughs> got to do with this? <laughs> All right, we're going to have some. Seven seen Queens Lounge. Queens Lounge, okay. Mm-hmm. So, so, so me and Mike, you know what I mean, we, um, we chopped it up. So he got, he got on stage, I got on stage, gave me a mic. And we ain't, we ain't have no practice, no nothing. But we just looked at each other. And we just took over, my nigga. Bro, like, the, 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 la- the label looked at us and was like, crazy, man. Yeah. 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 You know, because you know sometimes Mike could be, you know, c- kind of calm. He and his hype as me or whatever. Right. But right. I got on stage and they seen the chemistry. And they- one more shot, one more shot. Yes, yeah, why not? One more shot. One more shot. I'm just starting, I'm just starting. I'm just starting. I'm just starting. You're thinking about Mama Wanna. You can go back to Ciroc. You should have grabbed the wheel. No, 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 it's okay. Whatever you want. No, you shoot up. No, 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 it's whatever you want. I'm sticking with the y'all, y'all. So I'm sticking with that. Okay, all right. Hey, you just got to pull my shot to my size. That little shit, I need something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. he, he doing some rock or you mama one, whatever you want. You want some rock? That was smoother though. D- this is this, this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was mama one. Yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, that's yeah, that's less. a voodoo priest in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a voodoo, voodoo shot. priest in there. But that's not your shot, is it? Yeah. It's something like that. It's, too, it's, it's a two in one. So where's that at? Huh? Yeah, that that's all right. Yeah, yeah. That's all right, that's that, that's, 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 that's that's a rock. That's that's a rock, right? Great, right? Some slaughter, baby. That's that's a rock. 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 That's a Let's go. All right. Yes. Hey. Uh. Twin. Mm. Woo. Mama Wana. That shit was a double. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, yeah. This is amazing. This is amazing. Summer Colada, baby. Uh, Summer Colada. They good. Nori for president after that, man. So, <laughs> so Flush, this is one thing. Uh-huh. I'm going to switch it to you for a second. But before you guys keep going, so you're not Cuban, right? Why not? Are you? <laughs> no, I'm asking you. Wait, that's crazy, because I've never known. No, because you know. I just thought there's a thousand when I, when of he them. came out with the record Cuban Connection with my homie. Mm-hmm. Right. A Cuban, that's all Cuban needs to hear, Cuban Connection. I'm like, he's Cuban, that's no, it. No, but he, and he told me at some point, and I totally disregarded whatever he said. I mean, listen, my last name ain't Brown, Tyrone, with My shit's Gavantes. Gavantes. I mean, yes, yes. My grandmother, my father, my mother, they all Cuban. So we have So you Cuban. were repping that side. I think we've had this yes, conversation probably yes. many drunk times. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I know I probably yes. like this for many drunk yes. times. Do you make noise now? Yeah. 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 Uh, we just had Nature on, and uh, oh, also big up to Aguilar, Adolf. We had him on. They had him together. Adolf, the assassin. Yeah, 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 yeah the assassin. Both of them together. Yeah, yeah. together. I'm flying on Alize for Dolo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got drunk fast. Yeah. Dolo, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. throwing that out there. Yeah. 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 Sir, as his voice get louder, that's a drunker he get. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't act like I wasn't like, all right, Flush, that's enough. Right. Yeah. All right, we good. We out of but here. We out of here. Big up to Nate. So one, right. of the, one of the things I credit with Nate is after Capone got locked up. Mm-hmm. And after you know the war report actually dropped, I didn't know what to do. I really didn't. Say, say. 
Yeah, I really did. Yo, wait, time oh, out. I'm going to pass me right back to Rock. I'm right back to Rock. I'm so sorry about so that. So I really didn't know what to do. You know, Pawn locked up. A lot of the connections was through Pawn. So when Pawn went to jail, I wasn't, you know, yo, give me this or tell me this so I could do this, I could handle that. Mm-hmm. I wasn't thinking about that. I was just thinking about Right. But one of the records, I always say, uh, it was I'm leaving, and it, it truly was. It was I'm leaving. Wow. But then a lot of people don't know that it was Cuban Connection. Yeah, man. You know, Flexing. around that. You know, uh, uh, and I forget what other record, but it, but you know, so I want to big you up in, in in your face. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, Paul is your cousin. Yeah. But you know, because like it was like at the time, like you had a budget, and you was like, yo, slide. No, I got I got a record for you, and then I, not only that, I think you actually hit, hooked me up with Bounty Killer yeah, too. Yeah, because he was on our label. Yeah, and he yeah. was on our so label. So he, he was helping get checks, and those three uh. features, along with I'm Leaving, and I believe you came up one shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those yeah. three. It was first I'm Leaving, then it was you, and then as you came up, and then after that, I became a certified Yande. You know what I'm saying? What is it? Can you explain that to me? <laughs> I'm so, I know. I'm when like you move a, back. I, Right. The way you just I moved, mean, I've been wanting to know like the meaning of like like the just said just the definition of the Yande. All right, yo, hold on. Where him at? Yo, pull I know, it up. I know. Him. 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 Pull it up. You can read out loud, him. Smiley. Smiley. Can you read the, the definition of the Yande out loud on camera? Can you read the definition of the Yande out loud on camera? Please. Hey, you come over here, bro. If you can read it out loud I mean, on camera, I, I, you can read it out loud in school, because I've never really read it out loud, nigga, in school. I know you have a question, but you want to know what the fuck I mean. I do, too. All right. No, but... This is real, this is real. It's some real shit. I made it up, but I didn't know what I made up was already an African word. Yeah, but you made it up. Yeah, but I didn't know what I made up was already an African word. So how real is that? Yeah, it was a, That's crazy. I was, I was like, how real is that? That's, okay. that's comfortable. All right. Yeah. Camera's focused there. Yeah. If you look at us, they'll catch you. Come on, look at us. We look at us. Look at us. Just read it, bro. Just read it. Who wants to be him. His name is him. That's his name. His name is him. Look. It's him. It's him. Name is a Nigerian short for Osayani, which means God owns the day. An intelligent, sexy, well-rounded stop, guy. Stop. No, 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 I'm close. Stay right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm learning Go ahead. something. Go ahead. Can be shy at times, but it's like to be um, by mostly everyone. He is laid back, but his natural-born, determined leader of the masses. Oh. If only he can get over his fears of success. He is ambitious, Woo. but is also very I'm prone to laziness. <laughs> Iyande is often labeled as arrogant. But when you get really know when, when you really get to know him, don't mean you you'll find know. out he's just timid. Yandes are nurturers, protectors, appreciators of humanity. How good it feels yeah. to walk a thousand miles in sand. Mm. A thousand never, miles in sand, and you don't see, you don't see no footprint. Ooh. That's deep. <laughs> deep. Yeah. That's deep. deep. You don't deep. see no footprint. My nigga just showed me a footprint. Right. I am not alone. That definition was real. That definition was us. That definition was us. Fuck saying nigga. We say Yande. We say Yande. Stop saying we say, yo, my Yande, my Yande. So my question to you is when we did the episode with Rick Ross, remember? Yes. We was in All Star. Yes. And you said, this is when you kind of started saying Yande. Okay. Kind of. You've been saying it, but. Okay. And then you you said it, and then he looked at you, he was, like, he was saying it or something. Okay. Did y'all. No, what, did we rehearse that? No, no, not rehearse <laughs> that, bro. But did you, did, were y'all on the same page on that? Was he using it before? Because you said you made 
it up and you didn't know it was a real nah, world. Bro. Yeah, nah, yeah. boo. Nah, boo. I made it up. That's, That's just I didn't know it was a real world. Hey, That's yo, just but, but, but to find out what the meaning of that, that was spectacular. Yeah, and that and, was, that and was, from Africa, yeah. too. It's like, it's, it's yeah. deeper. Well, you yeah. posted Not some true. shit the other day. Uh-huh. I was reading in this shit and I was like... That might have been it. No, you expanded. Okay. No, no, no. There was a lot more to that. There was a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kept it easy. But... With a, yo, son, nigga. So now I, I gotta so ask good. you. Uh huh. Now I gotta ask. First of all, let me ask you this. Time to build. Mm. That mm. was the record you wrote. Me, woo, er, a me, woo, X and J. That was the shit. I, I'm Crazy. back to the show. My minute. little sister smoking Crazy. crack now. Yeah, I feel guilty if so I had I went to the studio. Hold on, talk about talk about talk about Let me just, let me just ask you, Because yeah. I, I just feel like, because when I was Googled it, I just seen Rule and Jay. Mm-hmm. You're saying you have a record with you, Rule, X, and Jay? Yeah, facts. 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 Uh, this is on vinyl, too. Mm-hmm. Shout out, Rule. I love you, bro. Hollow, thick or thin, left, right. I don't give a fuck what niggas is talking about. Whatever you doing right now, keep doing it. Fuck these niggas. Keep doing what you doing. Icon, do what you doing, Icon. nigga. Let's make some noise, y'all. Hold on. So, yes. Because I, when I looked at the versions, the versions I only seen had only Ja Rule mm-hmm. and Jay. Mm-hmm. There is a version. Ver- that's why I said vinyl. I said on the vinyl, there's, there's that's versions. That's kind of weird because it shouldn't be that way. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. It shouldn't yeah. be that way. Because oh. D went kind of first or second. He went first or second. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, that's not Usual Suspects. That's what... Time to build. Oh, that's, yeah. time to oh build Usual Suspects. That's when you got... I hit you with a two by four. Yeah, 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 oh, so yeah. Usual Suspects are a different record. Yeah, that might yeah, be. Yeah, you got Jay-Z yeah. That's That's a locks on it, right? That's a locks on it. And what's the other kid that messed with Tupac's on that? Fatal. Fatal, Fatal, yeah. Wow. yeah. Shout out to Fatal's brother, too. Like, yes. um, But let me say this while we on the topic. Yes. Yo, I've never gotten a chance to thank Cole, and I've never gotten a chance to thank X, and I want them to know, first and foremost, I am okay. I'm all right. I'm as happy as I've ever been in my life, but I think. But Rule is different, because Rule is like, He's just like a speed dial away. You feel me? Even though I don't take advantage of it. But that's still my brother no matter what. Mm. Them niggas is my brothers for life. Mm. I don't care what happens in this world. I don't care what happens in this universe. I don't care what happens in this time or place. All of them niggas is my brothers for life, just like this one here. Plus, you ain't gonna smoke that moon rock. I, I'm, I'm trying chance. to drink. Man. I'm trying to drink. He's taking full on drinks. I know, but you gotta be around me for a second. I got you. It looks like I smoke all day, but I pace myself. Yeah, pace yourself, brother. Pace myself. We gonna have fun. Don't worry about it. Nigga, mad because I pace myself. Don't be mad. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. I'm glad you got me. I mean, take care. Yeah, but they should be in their own car. We watched him. <laughs> but, at, but at the end of the day, this is my man, and you know what I mean? Me and I'm him, brother, uh, pinky, yeah, brother. And it's like pinky in the brain, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes Mike do him and do him. But this is definitely a platform for him to finally show the people that, that was on, that he put on, you know what I'm saying? So a lot that, of that, 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 that passed us. I want to be clear. You know what I'm saying? Just to let him know we never so jealous, we appreciate what you did. Is this with Jay Z on your shit? No, three. Actually, no, three. no, four. Single life. What the fuck is going Single on? Single life. We, we did. We did usual suspects. Uh huh. Time to we build. We did time to build. Uh huh. And the only record I did just me and him was single life. Single life. Oh, uh, dope. The Rick James. They they bodied that. Cameo. Cameo. I'm living. Cameo. Uh, they bodied that. Him and, and Jay bodied and that. And that came out officially. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Holy moly, guacamole. And like why? Four records with Jay Z. Yeah, you, why? You deserve more Ace, nigga. Where your cup is at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. You better drink this. No, but this is why I'm saying that. You know what's crazy? <laughs> I'm going to tell you some wild shit. Again, I got one record with him. Again, shit. Wait, wait. Time to get another drink, Chase. Time to get another drink, Chase. Maybe now, but I was great. What's more important is why. Why? What's more important is why. Okay. Now that I'm older, like I said, when you get older, you digest shit a lot. And Jay Z is one of the people in my life that now that I'm older, and I thank you for this format because I know it will get to him. Mm -hmm. Damn, damn sure better. Yeah. There's so (laughs) many things. 
that he did not have to tell me. What was the name of this? Oof. You yeah, feel me? Like, chance, when, like when a nigga, when a nigga cares about you, they're gonna tell you shit that you wanna hear even when you don't. So I, I would like to to elaborate on that. Go ahead. That's what explain. you're saying. No, I'm saying. So you're saying that Jay was putting you on the game, like like as far as no, he was concerned about me as a person. In recent times, not so much in recent, but it, was this after you and the Gotti breakup, or this was in between you and the Gotti's misunderstanding? It was after, and it was during. That's, that's and real, I man. don't know if Irv had a talk with him to tell him to talk. Like, I remember I did nothing move but the money, right? I did the song. It's in my notes. Right, I did the song with Puff, and I remember Hov came the bad boy that day. And we played it back, and he was like, he said, um, you know you got something, right? And I was just like, I don't know, I just know I feel good about the song. He's like, no, you know you have something. Is that still your biggest record to this day? Hell in no. terms of airplay, in terms of spins, BDS. I'm so high, you're so high, nigga. I did the hook. That's your Wait, biggest time out. That's your biggest. Time out. That is no. a great record. That's your biggest time record. Out. Look, look. I'm right here. I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> Boom. He's cute. Nigga. <laughs> 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 that was a cute shit. What would it be? What would it be? Right. Uh, shit, we didn't even get to that part. Nigga, this is before the money, nigga. But well, check, check. Right. What right. I'm going to say is this. When it came to that, when it came to... um. He would, like, Hove Hove really was trying to get me to see beyond where I was. Like, here's a real story. I remember remember when All-Star Weekend was in New York? Mm. The first All-Star Weekend. Everybody got robbed. Everybody got robbed. Yeah, it's very true. Except us. Oh, certain course, um, no New York niggas, but certain everybody um, out Certain umbrella. If you was yeah, under a yeah, certain yeah. umbrella, it was, you ain't have to worry about it. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. So fucking, um, I remember it was me, Dame, Latifah, shout out Queen Latifah, and um, it was all of us. Tata. Shout out my nigga Tata. I love you, Tata. Right. Um, and Latifah had us playing this drinking game at the bar. Come on, Latifah, join us at Drink yeah, Chance. Wait, time out. I'm going to get into some real, real, real shit. It's your time bro. to get real, yeah, real, real, real. Yeah, real. I was waiting for this one. So um, I got loaded, bro. Like, loaded as to where the whole room was spinning. I couldn't see nothing. Only alcohol? Only alcohol. What do you want to say? Heroin? I don't know. Yeah, right? <laughs> no, yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, that was with the was that shit. Nah, I wasn't into that shit. Yeah, only alcohol. You know, we like to say it's heroin. We love to say it's heroin. That's right. I'm going to be real about it. 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 I'm going to be real I didn't like it. Right. And you saw hats. And you still like it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'm done, I've done coke in my life. Wait, where was this at, Mike Geronimo? Let's change no, that story. No, no, no. Don't change that story. No, that's story. No, that's story. story. And then no. we're going to go back to the coke right, story. Right, right. No, right. Yeah. What's the no, story? The Queen Latifah. Right. The Queen Latifah. Right. 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 I tried coke on once point. in my lifetime. Right. Well, you, you, like, you want to go to cocaine? Look. <laughs> you want to put it up? No, 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 no. So, so I tried it up. once, and I was like, yo, this shit is not for me. I'm paranoid. I'm worried about everything. Were you finger popping? No. <laughs> so, wait, wait. I heard you got a finger popping. Cocaine and finger popping yeah, go together? Yeah. 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 Cocaine yeah. and finger popping go together. Oh, man. Anyway. So, I'm going to freestyle. We're going in the wrong direction. So I'm loaded. Can't see a thing. And right. I'm scared to death to walk out the All-Star Cafe because there's a line of police and there's barricades and there's people. You're by yourself? No, I'm with like Irv and you gotta understand that that everybody roll with everybody. And Irv was the main hub. So right. if Rockefeller came out, murder came out. If murder came out, Rough Riders came out. So all three of those camps, we all rolled as one. Right. It wasn't no point in time where we wasn't not mixed up together. 
And again, this is going back to why I love Hov so much. I'm not just saying this shit because of where he is. No, no, no. I said that. I said that. I said that. Too much. This is why. And when I got older, it dawned on me. Right? So I get really drunk and really high. And I remember being at the entrance of the All Star Cafe. This is like when Sylvester Stallone and I think Arnold Schwarzenegger. The All Star Cafe was a cross street from MTV, correct? Facts. Okay, I'm in. And they owned it. And you I had to you walk. Just say, just drop my name. You make your name? No, they said they owned it. Oh, uh, <laughs> like they, they owned the Cafe. Cafe. So I had to that walk was the spot outside. where Russell Simmons used to eat all day. Fact. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I had to walk outside, and I was like, pet. I was like, damn, I don't want to go out there because there's all these people. But there's something in my mind, which is again back to the not believing in yourself aspect. Mm. I was like, ain't nobody gonna know who I am once I walk out this door. I could walk out. I'm not gonna get. I remember I walked out. And I'm stumbling, bro. I can't see left from right. I'm falling all over the place. And some white dude was just like, holy shit, it's Mike Geronimo. And the whole block just cheered and it scared the shit out of me. Mm. Well, you had the college fan love shit. Facts. Yeah. But it scared me. And flashes started going off and I got all confused. And I drank so much from the drinking game with Latifah in them that I was about to like just drop. And my legs dropped. I just started cascading this way, and I felt somebody grab me. And they picked me up, and they threw me on their shoulder. And I heard him tell Irv, he was like, don't worry, I got him. It was Jay. Wow. That's dope. And Jay carried me all the way back to a Range Rover, and here's where I'm going to get highly personal. Mm. And before I say it, if you ever need help, talk to someone. Uh-uh. I remember Jay putting me in a Range Rover, and I remember him saying, you can't do this to yourself. And I remember me saying, why don't you just let me die? Wow. And so to skip through that. Wait, talk about No, listen, 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 listen. No. I'm gonna finish this. Hold on. Oh my God. Because it's, 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 it's a good ending. It's, it's a good ending, but he's been taking too long to it, boy. That's all. Go ahead, baby. Go I'm sorry I'm long-winded. Go ahead. I'll fuck with you. When I'm older now, and I realize that being 47 years old, thank God to bless me to get here. 73, right? Facts. Yeah. He didn't have to grab me. Mm. He didn't have to carry me to that Range Rover. And he damn sure didn't have to ask me, is this what you want? Why would you right. say that? Like he was concerned, right. He was genuinely concerned, but again, the Alice in Wonderland scenario, mm -hmm. people don't understand when you're in this shit, there's so many pe people pulling you left, right, up, down, vertically, diagonally. You don't know who to believe in. Right. And now that I'm older, I realize that when he said that, he didn't give a fuck about Mike Geronimo. He cared about Michael McDermott. Mm. And he didn't have to care about Michael McDermott. Especially not a man in his position. And that's why I say, I don't give a fuck what happens with these niggas. X, Ja, J, this is my family and my squad, Flush included, for life. These people did that. not have to do anything. So where I was going, so, so like three months after that, we did a show, we was in North Carolina at the college. Wait, this is the, the the dice game? No, oh, oh, I told him about the dice in my first show. I went about, about 100,000. Let's talk about it again. Nah. <laughs> Let's go. We got a big audience, man. Bigger scene. Let's go. Go ahead. I'm with you. So, go ahead. Right, so, three so, no, so, three months later, we're in North Carolina. We got the song, I'm So High, so we're kicking it. Mm -hmm. So, now I'm out there. It's like AZ, a couple of niggas, they back there. They playing dice with a bunch of niggas from, from South Carolina. Was South Carolina, North Carolina? One of them. I think it was North Carolina. North Carolina. It was North Carolina. So, they all losing. Everybody losing. So, I come. So, before we, sh we do the show, I gamble. Boom. So, I'm gambling. AZ lost his money. Mm -hmm. So, now I'm up maybe like... Five thousand, but I gotta perform. No, you but, lying. You was up a lot. No, 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 no. This is Earth, so I gotta perform. So, right. You know, never to take nothing from credit, but Mike Geronimo was kind of, you know, a little high at the time. So actually, Jay Z opened up for Mike Geronimo at the time. Uh, if y'all see the picture with me and Mike on stage, I'm giving Jay a pound as he's walking out to oh, perform. Oh, that's when I had the mega. He got the mega little fact, 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 fact. So Jay Z performed. He did, you know, he did his joints. 
<clears throat> and while he's doing his joints, I'm gambling, gambling, I'm winning, I'm up. So now I'm at maybe like almost 10,000, but I gotta go out and perform. So I go out and perform, so boom. So I perform, we knock it out, we come back out, so the kid's still there. So I said, fuck it, man, I gotta go, I gotta go somewhere else. They go 10,000, he said, bet 10, so I won, boom. So, man, so now I'm like 10 rows, 10 in a row, so I'm maybe up 100,000 at this point. Mm -hmm. So now I'm at 100,000, boom, so I'm going with him, going with him. So maybe I'm at like 180 now, I got him, got him up. So now I go, cool. This one I'm at the IHOP? No, you ain't believe yet. You sitting there with me. Okay. So now I go, cool. So now I go, you know what? I got to go upstairs and use the bathroom. I said, Mike, call the airport. We the fuck out of here. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Mike said, cool. I'm going to go with Shorty real quick. Drunk. So now. Because it was too short. No. <laughs> it wasn't like that. They knew my girl. They was from BK. You are still gonna take them down? No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, man. Yo, yo, my man right there, I don't know if you're filming because it definitely looks like you're filming. Please, please nah, don't. Nah, 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 it could. We can't use it on television if you, if, if, if they see me the right. You filming? They knew my lady. Right, right. So I met them through my lady. So they was just on some GP shit like, yo, you milks. Oh, you family. Right. Mm. We down here. Shout out Trini. Okay. Training. Sounds a little creepy. I'm no, it wasn't that. Right, it right. wasn't that. In fact, if it was that, that's nigga, right. I, nigga, it's they were just late. people's people. Facts. They, they was family, right. family. So they he, had to be he, he was with me. So now, boom! I, now the kid runs out of money. So now short, I, I go upstairs, short nigga. He done borrowed 10, 10, 10. So now he runs out of money. I'm like 200,000 up. So now his room and my room. Nigga, I, I, I swear to God, <laughs> my, nigga, I don't give a Eat. fuck. My nigga, like not to intervene. It is the most. Amazing, that, like this. Ever. At 47, I think about it. I'm like, that is the most amazing, just pure luck shit I've ever seen. So as much as I, as much as I love him, name is great. So, 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 so as, as much as I love him, at the kids. Was your name Rory Flush before that? No, I'm just hype man. I'm just hype man. Right, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm just a nigga traveling. No, it kind of was. Oh, you I, wasn't Royal Flush. No, yet? I, I was on. I'm so high. I mean, you know, I mean, I did Master. I see. Oh, I'm so okay. high. Right. So he, he was no, Royal, but then <laughs> it solidified after. That. Right. Okay, oh, good. Continue. Okay, okay. 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 So, so now we get to the room. I put. A, we got to connect the room. So I put a hundred thousand in the tub in that room. Oh my god. And I go to the other room. I said, Mike, we're about to pack. He go. I'm going downstairs. So now Mike leaves. Mm -hmm. Now the kids come back. But, mm -hmm. I, but I still got a hundred back. This nigga come back with half a million dollars, man. So he wasn't, nigga, nigga, he wasn't letting me leave, period. Like, you're already up, so yeah, you, but you put that to the side. He wasn't letting me, I don't give a fuck how I was, was going home that night. <laughs> I was, was going to give him some of his money back. The craziest Regardless. thing is when I came in the room. He went to IHOP, so I couldn't get away and get on a plane. Right. So I couldn't no, leave. No, 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 you skipping the part. Because I came in the room. And we oh, I get it. And I right. piece you off heavy. Right. Piece you off heavy. He just performed. Go ahead. And we got the show money, and the show money at that time, the most we was getting to keep it a buck, we was getting like, if we was lucky, four grand, five grand. When I came in a hotel room, this nigga had hundreds all over the fucking bed. <laughs> Killing these niggas out there. But they was like, situated. That's so how he was first, giving me the money. So all his right. money was iron. Wait, 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 time out, time out. Not to jump all the way in, but when I came in the room, I was like, yo, what the fuck happened? Because when I came in the room and seen all the clumps of honey, so I was like, yo, what the fuck did you niggas do? But this nigga is like, yo, you know how flush get when he on a roll. Right. I know you know. Come on. Right. He like, yeah, with the fast talk, like, yo, blah, 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 and I did this, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm the timid nigga, so I'm like, all right, nigga, I'm going back to my room <laughs> to go to bed after I eat, and I'm going to sleep peaceful knowing you getting ready to give me some of that in the morning. <laughs> Good night. That was it. Go ahead. Then he went to IHOP. Then I did go to IHOP. <laughs> and and uh, I know the nigga's beating me for the honey, but I know I got another honey. So now no, I'm wait, I skipped the part. I went in my pocket <laughs> in my jeans. I did, I did, I did. And he put money in my jeans. I, I, put, I, put, I put 30 in his jeans. Aside from the money I put, I, I, yeah, yeah, I put 30 in the jeans. I mean, I knew these dicks was gonna let me leave. I don't give a fuck, my nigga. So I was hiding <laughs> shit everywhere. I mean, I'm, I'm wherever, my nigga. I put it in my drawers and socks, nigga. I didn't give a fuck. But so I, I took about maybe, it could have been like 74,000. I knew, and I and after over there. So now I'm, I, I know I got like at least 120. So I bring it 74. Then he bet 10,000. 10, go ahead, bet it. 20,000, I'm winning some lose. I'm like, I hope, I just want to lose everything. I just want to get the fuck home. So I want to lose everything. So now I'm down and nothing, and I call Mike. I'm like, yo, Mike, you ready to go? Mike didn't answer. 
So no, can, I, I swear, if you don't tell this part correctly, because you left you some, fucked up. You left, what? I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you. Time I didn't out. Didn't tell you. Time out. I, I didn't say this with Ramel all the time. Okay. When he called me, right? I told Sounds him. Sounds like one of y'all niggas left somebody. No. Time out. I'm still with the niggas. I tell this nigga, go home. Cause I'm like, nigga, you got the bread. Break out. I'm not getting on a plane the, the, and leaving the, the my nigga. The boys I'm with is, is tied the in. The state we had again, I forgot. North, North Carolina. Carolina. I'm so not leaving. Wait, yeah. time out, time out. I'm not leaving you, So man. I told him and James, I'm lying. No, no you did. So I told him and my man G, I'm like, yo, go get on a plane. I'm going to stay low with the two bros I'm with. And then you did have two bros, let's be clear. But Stop. he wasn't banging right. out. He said, he was right. Did Nicky keep talking? Right. So you know, just a little, bit. A, point. a little bit. I listen to Paul. His man's up 200,000 in yeah. dice, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck anything, so nigga. Don't go nowhere. Time out. Fuck pancakes. Time no, time out. I'll make you so watch I tell him, I'm like, yo, skate. I'm a book a flight in the morning. None of these niggas know where I am. I'm not even coming back to that hotel. I don't give a fuck about my luggage, nigga. <laughs> I'm going to stay at their crib. You and the rest of the wasteland niggas go fly home. Yeah. I'm going to sneak to the airport, and then after that, everything is all right. Yeah. What does Karen do with all her yeah, yeah shit? What does Karen decide to do? She picks up the phone and tells everybody where everybody is, and now what? In other words, he's so concerned about me that I'm telling him, I'm like, hello, McFly, oh. fucking leave. <laughs> Oh, uh, stop, stop, stop. We just made $200,000. Why don't you fucking Wait, 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 wait. We, we missing the whole part. How the fuck these niggas knock on my door? How do you know my mother's like, they not, I'm hiding my money. I'm, I'm to get away. You won this money legally? It's like, yeah. man, it's a you dice game. It's a dice game. It's a dice game. It's a dice game. Let me put it No disrespect to AZ. No disrespect to AZ. This little nigga. AZ left. But he came back with a half a million dollars. AZ yeah. was like, yo, so can I, I take a I, walk? What he saying to you? He no, said, that nigga told him walk. no, and I wouldn't. I gave AZ a walk out of my way. No, so his, well, AZ asked the little the nigga, nigga, he was like, like yo, no, can I take a walk? walk. Or, it was Flush, Cheeks, AZ, and like two Mr. other Cheeks? niggas. Mr. Cheeks? Yeah. Right. Shout out to my cousin Cheeks. Shout out to LB. Nigga, I, I thought, like I said before, I performed, nigga, it wasn't about nobody but me and this little nigga, my nigga. He killed so, him. But even I had, I had to let so like I said I hit that I had to let the nigga but he was gonna win I was just I wanted to lose but now after I lose and I'm leaving so he had a nigga at the back door the front door and the elevator like hey, wait, I wasn't leaving so, so I'm gonna tell you but I, I hit the other shit so now when I'm walking out I got all the money I got all the money taken to me. <laughs> So I got, got $100,000 yeah, take to me, my nigga. It's hot outside. I got shorts on. Yo, but I got $100,000 to write this movie. I got $100,000 take on me. Can you change executive producer's movie? Now? Here's why I don't like this story. Because he still fucking owes me technically. <laughs> I gave you a lot. I owe you're you a fucking lying. I owe you a lot. I'm telling you lies. You're full of shit. I, I, don't, don't do that. that. I'm not. Don't do I, that. I'm going to leave it alone. Don't do that. It was a great story. I'm leaving it alone. It was a great story. It was. But you kind of, don't, don't, don't lie. I just said. I stuck home with a little bit. Because when I walked No, I came home with 80. And I, all to you, all to, so now what? I, I, I so now I can confirm my 25? I gave him 25. Yeah, yeah, I gave him. <laughs> nigga, but you lost a lot, nigga. <laughs> I got it all the same to me. I'm no, on the plane. No, no, I can't no, remove. No, no, no. Mike, how much you left that. with? He said I got 5000 He got me for everything. I called you from the fucking from the airport. airport. Yeah. And I chastised you when I was on the plane. I was like, you're fucking dumb, dumb, because I told you to leave already. But you're so fucking concerned that somebody's going to do something to they, me. They got me. And I'm telling you I'm with Trini and I'm home. I got $5,000 left. So they got me. So nobody listened first off. Second off, the little nigga came back and roped him, gave him a proper one. Shellacking. I want you know nigga, what this fuck you mean? Is? What you mean? He, I want to I want to go home. Yeah. Fuck, what are you talking oh, about? Now, man? now it's I want to go home. Yeah, I got a hundred thousand here. Go in my pocket, right? And take the money back. Took all of it back. So I wake to up, make it back, right? Yeah. To make it back. I'm not saying his intentions wasn't pure. Yeah, I think it's pure. It was pure. Yeah. So he goes in. I, I there, wake up. There's I, still I get, 85 like, in the other shit. tub, nigga. Wait, but then what about the there's new couch? What about the new couch when I get back to flushing? I go in his crib and I'm like, yeah, that's a nice fucking couch. So I, I, I rearrange the whole house. <laughs> Obviously, this little cocksucker didn't take everything yeah. back. Yeah. Which is obviously, Mike. You gotta understand. All right. 
right, cool. All right, leave it alone, nigga. I, I, I love you. I'm sorry it came out like but, but the more the story is like a dice game, that's what a dice game turned to, man. But Unbelievable, To, to man. end it all, it was the uh, most amazing street uh, shit I've ever uh, witnessed, uh, like, uh, living and breathing. Uh, Your man had a shitload. He had more money than we had did in 10 shows on that fucking bed. Uh, once a day. In one day. But this whole story started with Jay Z started and you. Oh, oh yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> we did. He wasn't there. Like, no, I know. I just right. the origin. I of remember the stories. him. I remember. I vividly remember. I know A Z because he lost money. He was actually living for a buyback, and this was running on. Then I started winning. I, I gave him back. What you said I was doing. I was fucking with chicks, being Mike in the cut, mm. and I once in a while I came backstage. I seen them doing what they was doing, but at the time they was rolling the dice, I didn't really think nothing of it. I was like, this is what niggas do. When I got to the room, bro, and I looked at my bed, bro. Yeah, that's just. The first, I thought, you know, I thought niggas did some flush and shit. So I was like, the fuck y'all niggas did? And we in North Carolina. I'm not going down for this shit, bro. It's a casino, man. She the casino? Yeah, no, no we was in the back alley. It sounded sound like a casino, but yeah. no casino. The, the, the <laughs> game started, the dice game started. And, and behind, the, behind, behind stage, it was just a little curtain start, block of the And only when he got more money. So when, he, when he was gambling, and he I was like, to go bring no, more money. But as I'm up like 40, he started saying, yo, give me 10. Yo, give me 10. And these niggas pulling out neat money, neat money. But everybody, no, nobody around had no more money. Then he sent like four niggas home and then surrounded the hotel. They and they literally, cause he didn't see that part. Cause I went to AHA. I didn't see that. So when I came back, I, I didn't go in the hotel. I stayed in the car with the two bros. Cause once I got back to the hotel, literally the entire hotel was surrounded with North Click niggas. Whoa. And that's the minute where I was like, yo, what the fuck is up? But I'm in the car with them, so I was the, and they was all right. So I was like, give me that. Cause my main thought was him. So once we get to the, we pulled up first to the front door. And I told them, I was like, don't go there, go to the side door. They gave me what they had, I jumped out, cause I'm worried about him. And I made then it once back, I made it back then, I think James called me. And that's when I was like, yo, go back home. I'm gonna go stay with them. I'm not even gonna go back to my room, fuck the clothes, fuck the show money, all that shit. Go home and take that bread home. Oh, we had a good night, man. We had a good night. I came home comfortable. If it would have worked out, it would have been. It uh, kind of worked out for you. Though. No, no, I'm. I'm just, <laughs> look, it kind of worked out for you though. Next forty years later, nigga, truth come out. This shit happens. This is what I'm friends do. Okay, <laughs> that's what happens. It's all yeah. right. That's Nobody gave mean. me that couch. I, I brought it. He did all his right. thing. Before all I right, sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. Up one last guess. Mm -hmm. I have to ask this. Mm. Fall out with Irv Gotti. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. You know what's crazy, bro? I could sit here and lie and say that I have it in my mind. Ask myself how I would address this, because I've never, but I promised you that day at Mixed Joint. Shout out Mickey and Queens Finals. Right. I promised you. Butch Rock, Butch Rock. That's Butch my, Rock, yeah. Butch, Butch, Rock. Yeah. Butch told me he was going to fly yeah. that year. He yeah, told yeah, me. Yeah, 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 I forgot to remind him. My bad. That might be um, my fault. Butch Rock, how do I start it? It's kind of like. Of the analogy I would use is on. Let me let me give you a little. Let me Go just ahead. give you. Go ahead. Um, let me let me describe my question a little better. Absolutely. And I said the four hour herb guy, right? But really, what I wanted to say is, you know, we all. Hey, we gonna pop a new one. Oh, for sure. We gonna pop a new because this is this is this is about a sip left, mm -hmm. and I ain't gonna do that do you like that. We gonna give you a whole oh, look. Look, I can't do that to you. Man. Wait, time look. out. Restroom break. That's hey, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say time out. Just go. Yeah, Which yeah, way yeah. is it? That way. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Cause this the big dip a week. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to. <laughs> so before before we took a break, right. I, I just, we wanted to get into the actual, you know, you know this is inevitable. Right, right, right. But before you that, you, you wanted to give me something? You wanted to give yeah, me something? I Come did. On, baby. Come on, um, let me, I love gifts, man. Shout out to my man Puzzle Life. And he mm. has a foundation called Puzzle Life, and it's for kids that have autism that mm. are from the inner so, city. 
My son Matthew is heavy on the autism spectrum. Put your rock, a son that's on autism Shout spectrum. Shout out, Matthew. I love you. Fat Joe. Mikey, Mikey Maddie Morgan. Well. My son, father. Well. 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 What I wanted to do is they found out I was coming on here, and it means the world to them to give this to you. That's so beautiful. So puzzle yeah. like yeah. this is for you. Yes. For Thank Noriega. you. So beautiful. Can you put this in my car? I don't want to forget. What is it's a foundation organization? A foundation. What's the, that they, what's the information for them for um, people to find them? You can go right here. It's printed. You can go on Instagram. You could uh, hashtag Puzzle Life. Puzzle Life. An organization okay. from the South Bronx. They work to bring attention to kids that have autism in the inner city. Like I said, my my son is on heavy on the spectrum of autism. And Look these kids son. go through your, your nephew. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, uh, you I, I, know, they wanted look, me to give him that. No, I got you. I'm going to definitely wear it. That's great. Hope you're a size large. Yeah. If not, even if it's not. No, it's I'll, double that. I got uh, you. Yeah, I know you're small. Yeah, I'm small. But it's okay. I'll wear it just for you. I got you. It's for that. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this last question, then we're gonna bring in our next guest. Right, right. This, so, um, this um, David so and Goliath. So what was the actual, you know? Because I, I would like a direct, you, you know, Mr. pause. You. Um, you know, when we look at, when we look at, thank you, Mister. When Appreciate we look at, you know, it's, it's shit is real. It's almost like y'all try to like almost the havoc and pee almost to, you know. The Diddy, the Biggie, you know what I'm saying? It was almost felt like that. Mm -hmm. So to see y'all fall out, I'm, and, and me, I'm one million percent on the outside yeah, I looking in. I because I don't know in. how the world saw it. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I know that y'all just broke up. So, but <clears> no <throat> one knew why. Let's say the shot first. But you, you, everyone Fresh. remembers the question, right? No, right yes. there, right there. Oh, the shot, yeah, yeah, the shot, yeah, yeah. the shot. Boom. Salud. Boom. No one really knew why. We heard about what he said after, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but why was it said? Why was the fallout prior to that? Um, now was it the top dog contract? You supposed to sign a top dog? Yeah, I mean, it was a couple of things, bro. It was yeah, yeah. a couple of things. So I think the the first thing, like when I met her, I'll be honest, some connections in your life, they're organic or frip. Mm -hmm. Like um, the minute me and him met, it was just our water. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. um, the minute me and Nat met, just our water. The men, me and Paul met, me, me and Eric met. All that shit was just out with you. Genuine. Genuine, organic. It wasn't like that with her. I was. I, I, well, I want to. I want to be devil's advocate. Sure. Because, and that's and you you could you could probably be one million percent correct, but in that first video, that was like. <clears throat> It was like so, that felt organic to me. Here's what I'm gonna say to you. Okay. In the first video- I'm just being devil's advocate. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not no, saying I'm correct. No, no. Because I, I won't say there wasn't an organic element to it eventually. For me as a person, it takes a lot for me to find reasons not to deal with someone. I'm a very, um, I might be in my own show, but I'll give anyone the world that, that fucking is just genuine. And I think a lot of people take advantage of that. And I remember not too long ago going online and it's funny when you read what people say about you. And like I said, just by nature, I'm not into me as a person. I don't read none of my comments, but I'm right. curious but, to figure out what you read. Every now and again, I peep just to see 
Right. What the fuck? It was a snapshot of what's going on. Right. And and it was a. I don't know who this person was, but I think they summed it up in the best way possible. This person who I don't know said, <coughs> "Pardon, their personalities clash." Meaning yours and hers. Right. Meaning everything ain't for everybody. Everybody ain't for everything. And it it, it kind of. It kind of threw me aback in the sense that someone who doesn't know us knew the exact reason as to what it was. And to, to, to go in more depth into it, I met Irv at that talent show, and I met Irv through my nigga Chucky Madness, right? Okay, hold on, I got you, got you. Hold on, baby, go ahead, keep going, keep going. And Chuck was, like Chuck used to keep me okay in Bayside. He was right. a senior. I was a, a freshman coming into Bayside High School. Okay, yeah. But Chucky Madness was a legendary DJ in Queens. Like, he's the nigga who took the, the Nintendo shit and blended it, and that blend <clears> tape <throat> went everywhere in the world. Mm. And Chuck knew Irv, and Chuck knew DJ, DJ Sage. Irv. Right. Was it, it DJ Irv? Magoo. At that point, DJ yeah. Irv. I'm not saying Magoo to insult him, I'm just saying right, he... Right. Going through his history. Right. Going These were the history. tags that niggas had to him. But his and, name is DJ Magoo? No, his name was DJ Herb, but other niggas called him Magoo. Because Herb would always squint like this. Magoo? Oh, like, 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 like Mr. Magoo. Like, like the pet detective? Like Mr. No, Magoo. Mr. Magoo. Mr. Magoo. Mr. Magoo. Wasn't he a detective or something? No, no, no Mr. Pet Magoo. Detective. You, 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 you confusing too. Yeah, yeah, you confusing too. No, no, something in that era. Something close, something close. Magoo, looking at something. Mr. Magoo used to always squint. So he would always call him Magoo. I thought he was Inspector Gadget. I'm sorry, guys. Jesus Christ, how many people you put on Mr. Magoo? I'm just listening. Right, so. You know what I mean? That's I a didn't real ace drinker right there. You know I, didn't, I, I didn't at all know the bro. Come on, let me, let me get and then I remember the night I met him at the talent show at Liverpool, and that was a hectic talent show. Niggas shot the shit up, all that shit. But I remember the nigga like came the over to me. No? Kind of like the... No. It's like the Q Club. It's like, like the... Come on, think you want the Q Club... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... I mean nah, I got a whole bottle. Like, facts, think the Q Club... Are you good? Yeah, 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 I want some champagne. Nah, man. I like niggas like you because I drink I drink your shit. Are you good? That's what he likes me. I don't drink your shit. As long as you're good with the dukes. You're good with the dukes, man. That's it. That's all right. All right, cool. That's all right, my nigga. I'm going to hang with you all day. You drink that, I drink this. We don't care. We don't it was crazy because of the way that he came. I never forget the way he came up to me in a talent show. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, yo, okay, man, I got a studio. And when he said all of that shit, first of all, I was drunk off of St. Ours because that's what we drank all that day long. Hard. The Danny, that's what we was called. That's what right. they call it, Queens Brick. Yeah, yeah. The Danny. So I'm drunk and I'm high and the mm. nigga comes up to me talking all that shit and I just started spitting off in his mm. ear. As he talking, you just As start spitting talking, around. I just started blacking out. Where did y'all go wrong at? Yeah. Where y'all went wrong at? Where we went wrong was the first thing that went wrong was we was in front of my crib. And Flush could tell you, my parents loved all of my friends. Like my crib was kind of like, if your kid didn't get love at home, he could come to my crib. Mm. So him, shout out Infrared, my cousin Infrared. Mm. Huh? The, the crib was on the army base. So I wasn't used to that. I'm coming from right. Russia. His crib was on the army oh, base? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I, I went through four times. I, nigga, I saw, uh, something crazy. He's my, four father, time. my father was, was in the armed services. My father mm. was a sergeant. Oh, Shout out, wow. rest in peace to my dad. Yeah, dad you know, that puts a different man. dynamic on the right, story. Right, right. Right. I lived in Bayside. Okay. On Fort Titan oh, at that time. Shit. So that's real. Niggas really lived there. Yeah. 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 Oh, I First, that nigga, was I was like for military no. army. So you made me from this crib. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to the army base and I walk in his room and DJ. This but what I come from. My father, my father was NYPD, and my father was a surgeon, a sergeant in the armed forces. Let's make some noise for you. Well, that's a piece of That's a piece of That man raised me, my nigga. So my dad fought in like three wars, bro. But yeah. anyway, neither here nor there. My crib was the hub. He could come. Rudy could come. 
Anybody. Anybody could come, and my parents would be like, yo, you could sleep here, you could eat here. I went from Bone Cribs to Fort Tyler. Yeah, I was very, very, very. Yeah, yeah. 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 green couch. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> my <laughs> best. That's my 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 best. Let's finish, because listen, where did it go wrong with Irv Gotti? Because you go everywhere else like that. Let's just keep it. We did Shit's Real. Right. And we did a couple of records, and I remember it was one night in particular, Irv and Nichols came to my crib at my mama, my stepmama. I don't call her that, but she's my mama. My real mama passed when Nichols, I was that's 10. not BJ. No, Nichols. But BJ is. was your A&R, your second album, no, right? No, BJ was my manager. Wow. Nick, Nick, Nick Nichols is the guy that got shot with Tupac in the elevator when he got raw. Right, oh, wow. so that's Freddie who Nichols Moore. Is. Nichols is Freddie Moore. Jeez, right. You got history. Go ahead. Yeah, this is. So Nick yeah, was yeah. my role like manager. Butter. Uh-huh. Which kind of, yeah, fat. So yeah. Nichols kind of made me more entwined with, you know, the umbrella. Right. Nichols was my role manager. He got shot in the elevator with Pop. Anyway, so it was one night in particular, and everything was coming to a head. Shout out to Barnes, Roger Barnes, and 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 and, and Priest, and because that's another part of the story. My cousin Roger Barnes fucked with Puff at Bad Boy. I was our manager, George Ryan. George Ryan was my first Bob. manager. So there was a tug of war going on between George Rowan, who was my manager, and Irv Gotti, who. Pretty much laid all the footwork. And I'm caught in the middle. I'm 18 years old. This is the beginning of your second album? Or this, be, this, is this is still the first album. This is before album. we oh, even finished Natural. Okay. So I'm just like. And you're 18. You're a kid. I'm 18. Man. I'm a baby, bro. Yeah. And not to mention, I got a gun charge I'm in court for. While all of this shit. In New York is going City. In New York City. Minimal. Facts. Yeah. And the one in the chamber. Maybe that's his story, though. So Irv is like, yo, I don't understand. Why is all this, why you letting all these niggas come between us, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling the nigga, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm not letting no one come between us. I know what you did. I know you pressed the record up. I know you got hype. You got all these things that me and myself, I would have never brought to my table because I'm not thinking this way. And Irv has an uncanny ability to let his ego, I hate to say it, take control of every mode of function. And I never forget the nigga turned to me and he was like, see, I should have just made you sign the paperwork. And when he said that shit, a jolt ran through my body. A joke? A joke. A joke. Like a, you know, like a chill. That's like, right. you know, when you, when you do one of them things. So I'm like, wait a minute. My mama just gave you a plate of food. <clears throat> I just asked you two weeks ago for five dollars because I stopped selling drugs, all that shit. I'm broke, bro. Trying to figure out what I want to be in life. I go to this studio because you asked me to and you like, yo, just try it. Nigga, you wouldn't even give me five dollars for Chinese food. But you're gonna sit here after my mama just fed you a plate of food and tell me you should have made me sign anything. First of all, you're not a fucking made nobody sign nothing, nigga. And I'm not saying that to, to, to nah, charge nah. up ego, but I'm, I'm just calling saying. it like I see it. And the first thing that ran through me, I was like, yo, this nigga don't respect me. This nigga thinks that I'm some sort of bitch nigga that lives on an army base in Bayside and comes from an obscure place that he's never known because it's from a side of Queens he don't fuck with, called Flushing. You don't tell me anything in terms of your strategic. <laughs> right. So, so really, I'm getting everything you think of me in one fatal swoop. Can I be devil's advocate one more time? Sure. Do you think that he meant it in a way where, like... Yes. Wait, you ain't let me I don't need to. No. He gets what you're saying. And no. here's why. Think, which, which way you think he meant it in a way? He meant it in the egotistical way oh. that he thought this is oh, the roadmap I that I should follow because if I follow this and bitches see me in this car and see me with this person and I'm under this umbrella, this all falls according to that script. 
And this nigga don't fall into that. I'm just going to use him to get where I need to go. The reason I will tell you that is because the hood rats nigga that he fucked with before me. There was a record called, if you bootleg, you get your leg broke, nigga. Mm -hmm. That's the group he fucked with before me. You went nowhere fast. You find this obscure nigga from Bayside, New York, who's never, ever, no one knows him. Right. And I'm gonna tell you the most assaulting shit. Since we gonna call spades spades. I think I came around. Fuck okay, everything You took an ace of spades, by the way. No, no, no. You took an ace of right. spades, by the way. No pun. No pun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, oh, oh, I love you, bro. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the nigga tried to introduce me to someone that I had already been outside with. You feel me? And when the nigga put, tried to act like he was putting me on to the person, the person was like, nigga, that's Mike. Mike ran from TNT like 10 times this summer and came back to the block the same day. I tried to pay the nigga to come back and work and he wouldn't do it. And I knew the nigga you turning me on to. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand everything. So mind you, I don't say nothing, and I don't do nothing, but in that one moment when he told me, see, I should have made you. Okay, okay, let me finish. I don't know, is that ice cracking over there? Nah, let me finish. Let me play devil's advocate. I'm gonna ask you, because you my nigga. I do believe you have genuine, do you not have genuine love for me, bro? Absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you, is my nigga one to one? Fuck the camera. Was I right to feel insulted? This is my point. I'm listening. We neck and neck right now. You, yes. We both in six. Yeah. We both in six years. I'll take a little shot too. <laughs> I know, but, I know. But, but, but let me just. Well, we let, both let, in six years. Then I'm gonna hit him. No, 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 no. no. Then, no. Then gonna... I could understand how it, he meant that. That's like elaborate. Let me hit, huh? hit me out. Like yo, I knew I should have did a certain thing. Like, he, he might have said it wrong. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I, and I'm not, I'm not actually the feeling like of love. No, no, this, this is that's not what he means. He means that he just ran with what he thought, but he didn't take the time to properly, to in a PR it. way, yes. say it. Like yeah, there was no properly. spin on it. Like, it's different. That's what it's he different. means. It's different for me and Paul. Like, Fact. when me and Paul, when Paul came home and I said, we're going with this lawyer. Paul didn't give a fuck about how I said it <laughs> or not because he trusted me enough to know. But there was so a if I would have, but, but there, there could have been a, there could have been a there way was a of how I that. said it to him. Right. Because he's just coming home from jail and he could have took it that way. But, but that's the reason why I'm just giving you the devil advocate part I, I get it. So what he's saying, so this is what I'm trying to say. I think Paul's still pissed off by you. Huh? He's pissed off. He's, gonna, he's about to come on and say it. I'm not saying it's true. He's not He's ready. He's pissed. He's pissed about the lawyer. How are you talking about the lawyer? Yo, stop. No, but what I'm saying, no, I gave that was an example. No, no, I know. But what I'm saying is, when a person said, when a person says, yo, I should have made you sound me, it sounds like some shit night shit, right? But if we family, it really isn't. Like, the thing is this, right? Let's suppose, let's suppose me and Flush, right? Uh-huh. All right, forget it. Right, I'll give you a better example. What? I'll give you a real life reality wait, 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 example. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I'll give you a. Just, just, just. I run for real to everybody. Yes. You did. I sure literally did. grabbed this dude. You hold on. Sure did. And I brung him to Jay Z. Sure. I brought him to Nas, I brought him to everybody. Everybody, was, they gave me the weirdest excuses, like your man's shirt is too tight. Like, whatever, whatever. Why did he have a choker on, right? Like, they was giving me weird excuses, right? I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do, right? So hit me up, hit me up. The thing is, they didn't know how to say, they told me no, but they didn't know what I knew. Right. Later on in life, after they knew, then they really, I understand what you It doesn't fucking right. matter, and here's my counter to that. And nah. I understand where you were going. You okay. were saying, yo, right. sometimes there's situations where the train is moving so fast, 
My, I, that I, sometimes I, you have to override the fact that everyone's not being politically okay, hold on, hold on, correct. Let me tell you, let me stop you one is that, is that this, what you're saying? That is kind of, but this is the, the shit that I'm saying. I could have went back and said, fuck you, Jay-Z, and fuck you, Nas. Like, now y'all want to work with him? When I told y'all, y'all before. I told y'all, like, I, I, but I did. So, but, but I did feel a certain way. I did feel a certain way, not with just them. I'm talking about with Mr. Cool, everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm going to No Limit, because No Limit, there was a guy named Skull Duggery that was signing the penalty records. Yeah. And we was, I was shopping for real to them to them. But what I'm trying to say is, like, Sometimes you could have a little bit of foresight. Mm-hmm. So, do you think, like, in retrospect? In retrospect, we're, yes. We're, we're, we're taking it all the way back. Right. And Irv said, yo, Do yo, I think I overreacted? Is that yo, where you're going? Yes. Do you think you overreacted? And you think, I should have, you have signed with Irv? You my nigga, so I'm going to say this. Keep it real. I have asked my que- myself that question many a day. Right? Uh-huh. And, and, and I'm going to be more... Um, more definitive, because I know you understand. Yes, I, do. I know, but I want the you, audience to understand. No, but I know you yeah. understand. Thank you. When you allow yourself to grow, it's a different ballgame. You can admit to yourself, you know what? Maybe I was a little bit impetuous. Right. Maybe I was just going with youth and and doing with youth, because youth are highly offended at everything. Mm-hmm. Because I hear when he stepped to you, you said. I'll let you do half of the album and then I'm gonna let my other people. Time out. I'm gonna tell you another story that showed me the truth. We coming out of TVT one day. You wasn't in, but you know the story well. It was me. If I wasn't worried about putting myself on, that man was dope. We were supposed to follow his lead a little. You uh Tom Rice is a flush. We're not breaking. Okay, but here's what I'm gonna say. Okay, we supposed to follow that. Very good lead, court bro. case. Figuratively speaking. Okay. Very good court case. Did, but, but did say. you hear what Flash said? Though? I heard what he said. Okay. I'm acknowledging what he said. I'm gonna say this. I never forget. We came out of TVT one day, and Irv had just got an MPV. A maroon MPV, right? Follow me. I'm listening. Maroon MPV. We came outside of TVT and the window was busted in the MPV. And mind you, this is after that I should have made you. The window's busted, the MPC machine is gone. Somebody broke into this MPV and took the machine. We go up East 4th Street. If you're on East 4th, you can only make a right. There's a restaurant, and then there's like this weird old homeless shelter. And Irv is heartbroken that somebody broke the window of the MPV and took the, the, the drum machine. But your records? Every record. Okay. Uh-huh. It's me, Irv, my man Bink, rest in peace, and Infrared. In the, in, in the MPV. I ain't wearing rough rocks. Infrared. Yeah. That's my cousin. Yeah. Lean back, lean back. That's my nigga. Yeah. That's my cousin. Oh, that's my nigga. Oh, infrared shit. grew that's... up in my crib. Oh, shit. Oh, we love Infrared. Shandell Green. We love Infrared. Shandell Green. That's my family. Oh. Yeah, Shandell Green. Yeah, that's, 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 that's my family. Okay. That's small ass. Paul Grams. Yeah, that's what it is. Almost makes it look like a Come on, 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 Let's go there. So we go the around turn. the corner on East Lafayette, on East 4th, when we make the right turn. It's a one way street. There's a restaurant that sure, Russell buddy. Simmons frequented. Right? And for some strange reason, we pull around, and in my peripheral, I keep seeing this one nigga checking out the MPV, but then checking out his forward direction. And you, I'm not going. Nigga, you know how that go. Something in me told me, yo, watch him. So the nigga keeps looking at the MPV and then keeps looking at the door of the shelter, keeps looking at the MPV. Finally, by chance, our eyes lie. I tell Irv, I'm like, that's the nigga who broke into that fucking truck. He has the drum machine. I don't say nothing. I jump out the MP like quick, nigga. 
I'm oh, going man. out the MP like boom. That's why I Knocking this nigga around in the front of the homeless shelter. Inf jumps out behind me. We uh, beating uh, the shit out this nigga. Bing jumps out the side. Rest room. in peace. Rest in peace to Bing. Bing blocks the entrance to the shelter. He a little big, so he blocked. I'm beating the shit out this nigga like nigga. Where the fuck is this drum machine? Yo, I don't know nothing, I don't know nothing. Bow, I'm pounding this nigga. Sit down on me. Me and no fucking. I'm sitting there. Sorry, I don't mean to get that active before. I'm pounding the nigga out. Hey, by Joseph. Me and the nigga Inf is passing the nigga to us like a ping pong ball. Big blocks the entrance so the nigga can't run. I'm like, yo, where the fuck is this drum machine? Stop. We run up another level of the building. It's like a, a two story building. So now when we run up, I'm sorry if everybody don't get me, but I'm going to tell her like I told you. Tell it. 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 So we beating this nigga the fuck up. The nigga. drum machine. We beat the nigga all the way up to the second flight of the homeless show. So window breaking him. No, wait, time out. Police come. Police and police got burners out on us like this. They like nobody fucking move, we'll pop any. Me and Inf is busy beating the shit out the nigga. The nigga finally gets to the point where he's like, all right, it was that nigga right there. The nigga Irv was like, yo, I'll tell you anything you know. You want to know, I'm a producer. My listen, 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 with your music, I'm fucking cussing this here, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> we told him, 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 but this is this happiness, man. This happiness, man. I didn't know. I said to myself, I said, yo, if this nigga could tell you in front of your house after your mom said, after your mom's gave this nigga a plate of food and the nigga said, yo, fuck, I should have made you. If this nigga fucking, and it's important part, Irv used to always keep a club. Remember them shits called the club? Nigga, the if he would have said that shit, I would have said you right. You made us, nigga. With that check. We, we did it all wrong, bro. Let's just move on with that, my nigga. That, that's something in life that we, we, suppose, we supposed to let that go fly through, My point to the story is, Hell is no. in that moment, uh -huh. he turned and he turned to the police and he's like, I tell you everything. I kind of felt like, yo... What did we expect though? We wanted him to know. And I added that to the. Yeah, way he learned life. life. Nigga, I we life, man. Life, man. We iterate that. Wait, wait, man. Yeah. Wait, Tom, wait. and maybe, maybe I'll say this. Maybe I don't call it right. But to me, it, it all added up to this person doesn't really care about you. Nah, Mike. And if this person fucking. He did, he did. Wait, care. Tom, I'm not going to say that. Man. Wait, Tom, out. Okay. What I will say is he had respect for everything we did. Because what we did was bigger than us. We, we changed a thousand people's lives from one record, from Shit's Rib. We changed Ho's li Hove life, we changed X life, we changed Rue's life, we changed his life. We changed a million niggas from just one record. And this ain't even what I wanted in life. But then when he said that, I kind of was like, yo, if you do this, what Say happens? What? When he was like, yo. Oh, should have made you sign a contract? But, but, all right. And I kind of felt. Just being devil advocate, right? I just took that. The thing is this, right? Let's suppose. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's suppose. No. No. Suppose you're my man and you signed to somebody and you don't like the contract you signed to. You don't think that's right for me for me to say? I, I should have made take you from sign him, it? What I don't right. take from him is. Yo, everything that I didn't think to do, you did. And was I willing to sign this contract? Mm. Absolutely. I, had he not said that that night after right. 
as, as, as me being a man, people got to pick and choose. You, Listen, people got to pick and choose. I'm going to tell you, people got to pick and choose. That was the right time for him to say that. Time so, out. So niggas got to use their weapons when they can use them. He was supposed because he was trying to prove a point to you. What I'm trying to say is this. What I'm, trying, what I'm trying to say is this. And please, at 47 years old, don't tell me how I should feel about nah, nothing. Nah, I'm telling you how to handle it. That's what I'm around you for. Time out. That's what you love about Allow me to speak. Yes, yes. And I do love that, but allow me to speak. At 47 years old and having a family, I've learned one thing. Nobody in this world can tell you how you feel. You feel how you feel because of a reason. It's not to say that nobody can't give you clarification about how you feel, and then maybe you'll feel differently after you have the discussion. That's not what was presented to me. Point blank, I love Herb. There's nothing... Just to clear up everything To this day Irv can't go through nothing And if I'm there I wouldn't stand there And be like it's, it's us to the end Still Still hey, You love me? You hear me? You love Stop me? Let finish, It took him his attention off of you You're Mike Geronimo nigga yeah, let 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 that love, bro. Let's yeah, talk bro. about Mike Geronimo My Not nigga I love you bro I'm, I'm, I'm here to watch you, my nigga. Crazy. Because I'm not in danger of jeopardizing where I stand with nah, people. Nah, we ain't got to talk about nobody else. Nah, you got it. That's it. Allow me to say, so allow me nah, to I am. just speak I'm gonna watch on watch the I'm going to watch you. I'm going to watch you. Got it. I'm here for you. I'm going to protect you always. You know that, right? So what I would say is this. Respect that. Because of what we did as people mm-hmm. and because of the amount of lives that we changed from just one record, I will always love love Irv Gotti. I don't care if Irv Gotti does a movie. I don't care if Irv Gotti does another <coughs> artist. I don't care if Irv Gotti does Murder, Inc., the reboot. I love Irving Lorenzo. Oh, let's make some noise for that. <laughs> and, and I'm going to say this. Mm-hmm. I understand some of the things that he said and did. Because when it comes to the top Because when game, it comes to it, right. either you ready for this game or you not. But, 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 all right. Now, I want to uh, super being devil's advocate. Super being, now, I'm not on anybody's side for Queens. Right? It came a time where you asked you to join them or be on your own. Right? You chose to be on your own. Because... I felt that what I saw were figurative red flags. And the first thing, and the other thing I didn't touch on, another thing that turned me off was I started watching how this money started changing niggas. Yeah, we said that. And I started watching how niggas started becoming different towards each other. And I started asking myself, Am I, are you ready to tell somebody that you fucked with all day long when you had nothing, you can't fuck with them no more because life is taking you somewhere else? Are you going to be able to live with that? Because guess what this game tells you? This game tells you you better convert to what this bitch called success wants you to be. And if you can't be the boyfriend that I'm looking for, then I don't want to fuck with you. I'll fuck you, but I don't want to fuck with you. That's why I fuck with him. And me as a person, I said to myself, I said, yo, bitch, I see who you are. It's my heart. I see who you are, bitch. You going to push me away from niggas that kept me okay when I had nothing. You're gonna push me away from niggas that when I couldn't find a reason to go on and none of it made sense, these are the niggas that in a crib would tell me something. What's up, man, boy? Oh, we're good, man. We're good. Relax with it, man. We relax with it. See, we talk, we talk too much. Relax with it. These are the Keep niggas that would tell me something. Real, though. Real emotional. This real. Nah, it don't get no realer than this. These are the niggas that would tell me something that oh. would make me see what I couldn't see in myself. And they didn't have the option we had. And you trying to force me to leave niggas behind me that won't get the shot that I got, that I never won. So basically, it was more like, 
If you're gonna fuck a royal flush, you're gonna follow this lead. And this he, nigga, and he yo, wasn't leaving if me. You wanna nigga. Keep it a, if you want to keep it a hundred, stop. I'm if fine, you, yeah. I don't need you to protect I'm not, me. I'm, fine. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just telling the truth. Yeah. I'm gonna keep talking. I don't need you to tell you. I don't need you to protect me right now. Yeah, I always gonna let me grow you, up. Yeah, but keep going. I'm always gonna but protect I don't, you. I don't. I love you, but I'm always gonna protect you, nigga. Niggas could have pushed me away from him. Yes. I thought that a long time ago. And niggas tried to push me away from him. Yes. And I didn't want to... I didn't want nobody to push me away from my brothers. And I wasn't allowing nobody to push me away from my brothers. I can see that very clear. Because there's a rainbow over there. And if you just go according to this script that we feed all of you motherfuckers, you going to be just fine. And if I give you enough, you forget him. What the fuck kind of shit is that? Why would you ask me to forget him? I agree. So I walked away from everything. Everything. Nigga, I tried to take my own life because of this shit. Oh, I got that call. I was there for it. And one day I woke up and I heard my mom. My mom died when I was 10, blood. I went to TVT and them niggas said, guess what? We're not giving you no more of a padeen. I said, oh, you not? I said, so let me get this straight. You set me up to sell an album that only sells 80,000 units in its first week. You don't have your radio team in order. You don't have your marketing team in order. You don't even have the fucking artwork guy in order. Me and this nigga is looking through the little glass at photos. Like, use that for the cover. You rely on this motherfucker, but he done already got signed to Def Jam and became an A&R. So you really think he gives a fuck about what happens here? Mm. Not to mention, he's going to use this second album to run me dry. And he knows it. But this motherfucker ate a plate of food for my mama and told me he was my fucking friend. And my mama shows him love. And his brother shows me more love than him. And not anything in this world can tell me I said anything, anything against this man. No matter what he did to me. Nigga, there's footage on YouTube of this nigga gloating about shutting down my shows with Funk Master Flex. Oh, he didn't mean it. He just love you. That's why 50 shot. Wait, time out. I don't give a fuck whether you meant it or not. I wouldn't do that to you. It's all right here, bro. Because if you're my man, you're my man. I will never do that to you. Right. This money shit never meant. Uh, but being devil's flush. advocate. Thank flush. you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank being you, devil's advocate. I got a piece over there. Do you? Yeah, do you right right now. Now. I got a piece too. Fuck that. I got a piece too. Hold on, stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. stop, 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 stop. Nigga, you well, listen, what I'm trying to say. Your, your ex-girl. Your ex-shorty. Just no, your ex-shorty. No, no, your ex-shorty. You really want her to do good? That's not really, though, right? Her. Because this is what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm just saying, I'm just being a devil advocate for her. For her. For her. Uh, no, no, no. no. I, Cause, cause you, I get what you. I get the analogy. Uh, it's a fucked up analogy. Yeah, <laughs> that, that analogy made me want to do more. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's right. 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 You treating me like, yo, you should have just went with it just because, stupid. You should just recognize that I'm here. No. And if you want to call a fucking spade a spade, 
I love Irv for his ingenuity. I love Irv for his tenacity. I love Irv for his perseverance. I love Irv for the fact that he will build a better mousetrap. What I don't love Irv for is he reminds me of fucking Trump. Oh, Jesus. I think they got a pee out there. Oh, that money is a bad Seven years old, tell me I'm not smart enough to evaluate the process. Oh, the Dutch, the fuck out of here, I'll do this shit all fucking day, bro. I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, I mean, and if you ask me to give you the fucking truth, I should take for the truth. That's the problem with where we are now, is a beat. The truth is the fucking truth. If it doesn't add up, one plus one is two, that's a fucking lie. And don't ask me to ride with a fucking lie, because that's what's hot. I got to answer to myself in the morning, bro. I got to answer to my kids in the morning, bro. I got to be okay with when I go into a box that I do it all the way that I felt that I should. Yeah. I'm sure. I don't give a fuck out how anybody fucking feels about it. I don't give a rat's ass about it. I gave my whole life to this shit. And then when I stopped with this shit, I went and rebuilt another fucking life that has nothing to do with hip hop. Because I'm not about that shit. I'm not going to give up on my people because the niggas with money is telling me, yo, fuck with him. Yeah. Fuck your foe. Fuck that your mom took the time to care about somebody else's child the way she would care about you. I'm not that nigga. I wasn't, I'm going to come out and say it. I wasn't built to play this game. Cause this game will make you leave niggas behind. This game will make you believe you're something else. Unless you're strong enough like my nigga. This is why I love him to death. He kept being him. Let's go, let's go. And it is what it is, and I don't give a fuck about how no one fucking takes it. Period. Come on, let's, let's just film this. Let's sit down, baby. We on fire. Let's do it, baby. Where my motherfuckers to rock shit? On fire, I'm on pillows, nigga. Come on, what's up? You think this is a good shot? Uh, you think this is a rock shot? I feel like I need a high chance. You need a high chance? I'm a little nigga too, man. I'm sorry. 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 You know why we feel like that? We feel like that. 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 We feel what I'm saying is because so many people use that word black ball. Like, do you think at one point? Absolutely. Please. Without question. All right, because you finish it, man. I like it. And I'm going to tell you why. It would be different. Okay. You thought you was black ball. Let's be clear. I kind of... The second album or the third album? Thank you, Mr. Lee. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Yeah. The second, second album. album. Second album. That's when you went with Puffin' them. So because, because listen, shit, I watched something on the internet. It said the beef between Irv Gotti and Puff Daddy started... Wait, they had a beef? And who's Puff Daddy? That's what nigga said that? <laughs> that Mr. Lee's cousin, bro. <laughs> They did. Was because Irv said that he didn't want anybody to work with Mike Geronimo. But meanwhile, the hitmen and them did work with him. I believe that. And here's why I believe it. Because there's footage right now on YouTube with Irv doing an interview with Funk Master Flex. This is the nature of the... I don't have beef with Flex because I don't consider the nigga to be a nigga you can have beef with. That's the second time you said Flex. You got your shot though? Is that a shot? Yeah. Oh, is that Come a on, shot? Let's shot do time? It. Let's do it. Let's shot do it. time! Yeah. 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 No, 
but that that may not this be one. Yeah. <laughs> no, you giving that. Um, I get it. <laughs> for the people. For the people. Flags. Ooh. A couple of months ago was talking about Jay Z, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and I'm gonna reiterate. Oh, he was dissing Jay. Talking about it. Wait, time out. I'm I'm not an internet dude. I don't keep up with shit. You feel me, bro? Yeah, yeah me I'm neither. in my lane. I'm in my yeah. lane. I I think of my kids. I think of what my business made that day. I think of red. I Absolutely. think of black. And that's it. The gamble. I know. Right. It just was saying that. I know y'all with me. So I'm not paying attention to all this other playground shit. I'm not. I'm not even in the playground, bro. Lo and behold, somebody calls me, yo, flex some some shit about, yo, if Jay-Z would he would have been Mike Geronimo, who was, he didn't make it, but he was nice. It was an insult. And, and, and it wasn't an insult on Flex part, but it could have been worded differently. Mm. Right? Yeah. Fast forward, I shoot back at Flex like, yo, I'm not with none of this sucker shit, bro. Because I just came off of Steve Stout coming up here and saying some fucking weirdo shit. They did? I forgot. Stout apparently was on your show. Not, well, he was on our show. Not right, apparently. and he said some <laughs> shit. Me and you... He said the mics around most Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. We did. Right. Right. Did some, so one, sorry, some, some person... Oh. We were like 200 Arabs. So. Yeah. Right. yeah. Some person who wasn't yep. affiliated, and they said something to you, and me and you talked on Twitter. Yep, we did. Briefly. Huh. And... He was saying some shit about fucking um, or whatever, all this shit. So I said, I was like, look, Stout said some crazy shit on the, on the show he was on where... What did he say? Come on, Mike. He was rolling a cigar. What did he say? And footnote to you, stupid. Anybody could buy a fucking cigar. Uh, yeah. So the nigga said some crazy shit, and he's like, yo, he's a, a fake Nas. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that time I said... However, however the fuck you feel about me... I could give less than a rat's ass. Right. Right. Honestly put, because at the end of the day, I don't fucking see you. You don't fucking see me. And I've been around you a thousand times in life, and I could tell you this. The way you said what you said here, when he wanted to fucking showboat with you, right. he didn't say that shit when I was in front of him. And then it took him 20 fucking years to admit how he felt about me. So honestly fucking put, I don't give a fuck about how you fucking feel. I don't care about the Knicks. I don't give a shit about Anheuser-Busch. I don't care about Carol's daughter. God bless you. I'm glad you did this. You should be helping more of us in the community. But you fucking like fuck at the same time? <laughs> at the end of the day, go fuck yourself. I've never seen this. This nigga said Knicks and Anheuser-Busch. After you just teased out. Oh, that's his... Yeah, that's his company. He, he, not to mention McDonald's. Right. But he was on your show and he said something very disrespectful. He said a lot of things on the show. He said a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got a little bit of watermelon. He said a lot smoke. of shit that I know. Yo, there's watermelon here. Watermelon here. And I got Capone here. And I, we here. And, and just so you know, I feel like Stout, you know, I'm not, I'm not defending him. Because I had the same conversation with Court Mega. And at the time, I feel like. Cormega, AZ, and you. I probably should have stopped him at certain things. But what the problem was, I had so much beef with Stout myself. You did? Yeah, that I was waiting. T- so I really didn't hear any time. You was he waiting for any- your point to come I was waiting for my him. point. So you know what? I apologize to anybody that no, Stout I'm gonna tell you some real But shit. But I'm going to be honest. Like, it was about... Me and Stout reconnected when he was on the... Because you're not the first person that came to me and felt... A certain way about when Stout came on here. No, but what he but said it, about me was very aimed. I don't remember what he said. I'm gonna tell you what he said. Okay. And here's why. Okay. I don't fucking watch blogs, bro. Right. Even if it's my brothers that I love. Right. I knew said. you had drink chance. Yeah, we in a blog though, baby. We a, we a TV right. no, show. But no, we but a goddamn know. motherfucker. You know, no, Me and my wife were watching you, and I told my wife, I said, I'm so happy for my nigga because I could see Nori 
Let's having, get back to the style. What happened having to the talk show in 10 years. Yes, yes. I'm going to be the new David Letterman. It's coming get, out. Getting but back, to the say back to the Back to the style. What show. happened? What did the style say? I don't remember. He had said something along the lines of you asked him something and the nigga was like, fuck my Geronimo. He's like a fake nah. He said, yeah, he said that was a fake nah. He said, my Geronimo was a fake nah, whatever, whatever. And I was like, this motherfucker, here's the story I didn't get to. You tried to blackball me because Foxy Brown was sitting on my fucking lap in a video. In a video. Yeah. But he didn't want to do that, but we took out the video. So that, that's where it started from. It started from wherever you at, wherever you are video, my right. correct. Foxy Brown came Wait, now time out, just for clarity. She wasn't looking her best. Wait, time but out. But she was still dope. Tom, don't, and don't, don't time out. Don't, don't clean it up. I'm about some, I'm about, don't. I'm about, I don't need you to clean it up. I'm, that's, that's I never knew Foxy Brown. A day in my fucking life. Brian Leach knew Foxy Brown. Mm -hmm. Brian Leach told Foxy Brown to come to the wherever you at shoot. Right. At this time, there's already idiots in the street pitting me and Nas against each other. I said that earlier. Not knowing that Nas is the same nigga when I was 17 years old, protected me from getting arrested and fucking mm. my freedom being at sacrifice. Please. So I'll never go against Nas. Even when this fucking wanted to gas it up. So if you're gonna call it a spade, call it a spade. Foxy comes to the video, sits on my lap, she don't get an outfit, she don't get makeup. You are as you are. I don't even know you. And the thing that sticks out the most, I remember Elliot Wilson jumped into the limo and interviewed her. Mm -hmm. And she was like, Mike's like my brother. And in my head, I was like, yo, no, no disrespect to her. I love Ingrid, because we got cool over the years. I love Gav. I love, I love her brother. They are good it's folk. My brother I love. My, when my, she my, said my. that, I said to myself, yo, I just met you five minutes ago. Why are you sitting here telling this man that we're like brother and sister? I don't know you. Tell me, Mike, don't say nothing. I don't like waves, bro. I don't like feeling uncomfortable, bro. Even if it's something I don't agree with, at that moment I ride with it, and I'll address it later, which is why I'm upset at him trying to interject, because he don't have to. No, but she's like a Virgo. Like, she's like, that's how Virgo I'm people Virgo. feel. Oh, yeah. I'm a Virgo. Sometimes you feel like you just meet somebody. You Me just and Nas like have the same birthday. Wow. Yeah. September 14th, 1973. Oh, yeah. I'm September 6th. I love you, bro. September 6th, yeah. I think so you guys are crazy, bro. Okay, continue. This story is so phenomenal. <laughs> so she sits on my lap. They filmed the video. This is not so my idea. Brian and shout out to my man in Dallas. They, they tell me do. Mm -hmm. I'm young. I'm an artist. I don't know no better. I ride with it. I'm at my crib, bro. Pierpont and Henry Street. 82 Pierpont. I'm lying. No, you had like a, a library when you walked in your lobby. Boom. Foxy calls my crib at like a 10 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon while video music box is on. I'm lying, Pete. No, 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 no. I'm lying. No. She tells me, she's like, yo, all the Queensbridge niggas want to tear you up. AZ and them is mad. Russell is going to kill your career. I'm like, yo, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Them milk. My girl at the time, Milk, grabs the phone and she's like, first of all, bitch, why are you calling my house at 10 o'clock on a Saturday? Who the fuck are you and why are you calling my man? So now I call BJ. Since we're gonna go there, I go through the network, the umbrella. I'm like, yo, this bro just called me talking some crazy, reckless shit. Niggas wanna do this, that, and the third. I know all y'all from that side of town, bro. And you by default, cause of him, you got power on his side of town. Cause you two is birds of a feather locked together. Man, if he came out to the, this, nigga, I'm... if he came out to the liquor store in the graveyard block, he was all right. You feel me? Of course. Just so now another I'm like, shot, Tom. Another shot. Another shot. So I'm like, another what shot. is going on? Tell us the name of the liquor another store. Another shot. None, what yeah. is going on? Mm -hmm. I call BJ. He called homeboy, big homie. Big homie makes a call. Most Him and Irv is regulating. Most yada yada. Uh, they call me back in like an hour. They're like, yeah, don't worry about none of that shit. Fast forward DMX wedding. DMX got married in Yonkers. We all go. I'm there. Jay's there. Um, Nas is there. Um, Jaws there. Aisha's there. 
How real is that? You feel me? Fuck all this shit. How real is that, bro? Because I know you know. You lived across the street. So now, me, Rule, Aisha, and Milk break out. We go to a club called The System on 13th Street in the city. Who said that? Right on, Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee, I think he's... I go into the club. He's <laughs> <laughs> brother in arms. Okay. He's brother in arms. <laughs> Tell me what kind of drugs are selling. No, relax. Yeah, 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 relax. Just relax, relax, relax. Relax, relax, relax. I'm okay with you. Yeah, okay, yeah. Keep going? Yeah, keep going, bro. Keep going. You sure? Yes, I'm positive. We a drinker. Wait a Get a shot. Get a shot. That's your ace. Like, good, good. Such a nice ace. Ace. No, 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 go ahead, go, go, go. You, 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 gotta tell, you know why? No, no, you gotta sip it. If you, if you some for sure, for sure. No, slow it, baby. No, you good, man. Nah, Mike, let me just say something, bro. Let's be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my brother, too. But Mike, you, know you the most untold story in hip hop. Do you really believe He's that? from I'm Queens, really, yeah. and my nigga, look, he's from Queens. Nah, and I, and I'm in a great that, way. My nigga, in a great that way. the flyest shit a nigga could say. It's not like that, that I don't And that's so true, that. though. It's not I, nobody, I nobody really knows your history. Nah, that's dope. Nah, nah, we want to know your history. That's why we, nah, nah. we here. We here. Hi. I'm going to tell you the conversation because Steve yeah. Stout caused that was dope. That was dope. all that was dope. of it. Okay, yeah. Let's talk about it, bro. He caused all of it. So me. Flush, relax. I'm back. I am. I love Ching bing. Ching bingling. So now, boom. Me, Ish, Rule, and Milk go to the system. Nas is there with Junk. Shout out Junk, my nigga. My brother. Yeah. Shout out Horse, my nigga. That's dope. Shout out Grand Wiz, my nigga. Mm. They all there. Nas got a cowboy hat on. I'm not going to tell it to the fullest extent because I don't have a K, an OK from the other party. But we talked about it. I'm going to say that in a very diplomatic way. And I was very upset because I said, how can the same person who looked out that window and saw the whole 109th precinct out there trying to arrest me be the same person who's trying to assist in blackballing me? Because this bitch don't have on what you think she should have on. No disrespect, not to use the B word, but I get it. But we don't know what you talking about right now. Just throw it out there. You, can you describe people at talking? Def Jam and people behind the firm got upset because when Foxy came to that video, oh, okay. right. he didn't right. get. Oh well, we have the Vera Wang dress here, right, right, and we right. have the, the makeup here, the hair, the we have the the Chloe this shit here, whatever the fuck it was that was out. Back right? then, right? Okay. She just came on a spontaneous. Niggas called you, you showed up on some G shit. You didn't mm. give a fuck if she was in that scene or not. Facts. But then the, somebody else put Furthermore, it in. Furthermore, cool. she sits on my lap. Right. And the video get, comes out. When the video comes out. We had to take it what down. What video is this again? Wherever you right, at. Wherever you wherever are. You at. Yeah, wherever, wherever you are. Wherever you are. Biggest, one of my biggest yeah. singles. Mm. The video comes out. I thought nothing moved with the money is the biggest single. No? No, nothing moved in no, terms I'm of so BDS. High. Yes. I'm so okay, high as a fucking... Radio, no, 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 radio, no, no, no. In terms of BDS, which is radio. Wherever you at. Wherever you at. Wherever you at. had the most spin. Right. Okay. Like, I never forget Rule being like, nigga, you getting like Mary J. Blige spins with nothing moved. Yeah. And Rule had a clean as good ace of spades. Just want y'all to know. Yeah. Come on. All right. All right now. All right. Join the party. I take a sip. I'll take a sip. So. Come on, nigga. I've been, been offering you this for the last half an hour. Oh, stop. No, so let's do it. You can't do that with this dude. You really good. I'm gonna get a new this. So I'm gonna get a new this. Give me some of that. 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 Give me some of they go over to at the but time that's it was, what it was something about, called bro, that's the what, box. That's it what was, it was about. It was it was about image. Ace. It was about it was image. a channel it was called the, ace, the box. Yes, yes, everybody. Hey, yeah, taking shots? Uh, no, this no, is no, Ace. No, ace. No, ace. You should drink. So there was a channel called the box that you could call. No, no, in. my homie was the program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sip of that though. You got to. Yeah, go ahead. Can't just you can call the box. Just, I'm just in time. I'm okay. so sorry, bro. Mm. But you, you can, can call the box. He was the program and director. The program, the, the, the three-digit code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The video came on. Apparently, niggas from Def Jam had went to the box and said, yo, don't play Mike Geronimo's video. 
Who said that? Oh, this People that shit. Yeah. Yeah, everything used That's black. Because the labels had a lot. They were fucking with that Earth shit. Earth is the who yeah. told me that. Earth was the he one told you who, what? who was like, yo, niggas is trying to not play. Which is a form of blackballing right there. Man. That is blackballing. Wow. And I'm not going to say black, who, uh, who the people were. And I know for a fucking fact, Bowling Alley champ. In your crib with the bowling alley. I know who the fuck it was. There's a bowling alley champ? Just mind me. I know you know, and I know he knows. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to leave it at that. You know, bro. You know, if I know, I'll tell. Like, I know you will. Yeah. You still, you know, I'm, Leo sure I'm, I'm all right, nigga. Every Leo shot Combs? that hits me was supposed to. You think it was Leo Combs? Any shot that was supposed to. No, not him. No, no okay. Did Shout get out to Leo. Leo actually made me. Leo. That's my friend. I've I'm never seen that. Glad again. it's not what's it. Leo made me feel on top Todd of Todd Mosker is? No? No, Todd. Todd was another good dude. Leo and Todd. I mean, there's so many bowling alleys with somebody's crib, guys. Come on, you guys. Everybody gets bowling alleys. Let's stick to the story. Stick to the story. Silver Tim, for the most part. Let's find out. 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 Earth send me, sends me to the box to kind of like be like, present yourself and they're going to like you so much because you're so much of an honest person that they're, they're going to find a way. Even though the powers that be that keep the lights on, that pay the bills, told them don't do it. Fast forward, we get to the club, I seen home. I say, yo, bro, the only problem I have with you is you protecting me from the police, from taking me in the cuffs. Who are you talking about? Nas. Oh. I said, the only problem Wait, I have with you is in the car. I don't understand. Going back to the original story. Okay? Right, right. When I was young, Nas prevented police from arresting me in front of Colden Street. Right, That's right. right. That's where I'm from. Do you want the police to arrest you? No, I understand. <laughs> you ain't listening to the story. I definitely ain't listening. Let's no. go. Let's go. So fast forward, we in the system. Rewind I it. said the only reason that we not at it, and I don't want to. This is system part of it. Right. This is in the system right. club. Right. I said the only reason we not oh, rolling around club. right now is because you the same nigga that told that kept me safe from police arresting me. So I don't understand if you the same nigga that kept police from arresting me. How can you be the same nigga that sits there and is okay with niggas that control the wheel saying black ball his career? Okay. You know Tell why? Because I'm, no, 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 I'm not understanding what's going on. I was Tell just talking about. Know. So no. you're trying to say that Irv got black ball in your career. And Deliberately. He, and he, he purposely brought Nas in. I can't. No, no, no. I'm not saying he that. brought Nas in. I'm saying that the origin of the black ball came because Foxy Brown wasn't with the firm wanted her to be in my video. They relayed that shit to who was above them. Are you mad? She didn't look. She, she I'm, wasn't, not she wasn't I'm not she mad at Fox. I'm not mad at Fox. I'm not mad at. I'm at the video shoot, nigga. She, Wait, time did out. You see what she had on? I did. Was but, but time out. No, no, she. Had and that's my baby girl. I love, she but no. Like, it's like they, they say, yo, come, 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 see meet Mike Geronimo. But then when she got there, it's like now get my the point video. is, everyone was looking for an excuse because they viewed me as direct competition with Nas. To I be told like, you that earlier. I'm getting back to your point. All right, all right, all right. So when niggas think I'm not on the same highway behind you following your taillights, guess what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, I'm being behind you. I'm being behind you. So, so stop, stop, stop. To get my man so, following yeah. his mouth. When they did Belly, you see Nas oh, part? Oh, man, ain't even going Hi- that. Hype Williams, that, that was his part. When they was on the bench uh-huh. smoking and all that. Mike filmed that with Hype first. Because when, when we did the video for Master I C, Hype had just came. No, it was Master I C. No, no, I'm so hot. So Hype had just came back from doing Brandy's video. So, he had, so let's tell him the whole story. Okay. No, it was okay. Super Bowl Sunday. Okay. Hype just shot Usher's video. Usher, all I do Usher, is think right. about you. All right. I call me in the crib. He's like, "What you doing?" I said, "I'm watching the Super Bowl. Giants, are my favorite team." I'm watching the Giants play. He's like, "Yo, we're gonna film a video for I'm So Hot." I said, "All right, cool." 
He's like, yo, where you at? I was like, I'm upstairs. He's like, come downstairs. I was like, why? He's like, I'm downstairs. Mm. When I came downstairs. You're Jamaica. No, no, he was in Flushing. Hype is in Flushing. My, my, my nigga Hype is my in Flushing. Hype no. from Flushing on the low? No. No, he just popped up. He's in Jersey. He just popped he up. He jacked all of Usher's equipment. Because you know when you film a video, yeah, you, you got a whole week of days to yeah. turn yeah, shit. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't turn the six wheelers in. He could use them. That, so that's he wrote, people do that. He drove directly to my house on Colden Street with three 18-wheeler trucks on a January day. Wow. Freezing. And that's be clear. Freezing. Was that because of you or because of her? No, thank that's you, Brandy. That's because of her. That's because of her. Her was there. Her was there. Her was there. Now, here's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Irv takes that like, I don't remember that. Of course, I remember that you told Hype to come film I'm So High with no Wait, treatment. Which is that? Who doesn't remember that? Irv. Because yeah. Irv's excuse to the public, here's the last exchange I had with Irv on Instagram. I haven't talked to Irv, the truth be told, in person in five years. Six years. The nigga Irv said, um, he was like, yo, Mike didn't believe in me. If I didn't fucking believe in you, how are you producing usual suspects on album two? After you told me, signed the contract, and I should have made you. Let my nigga walk away. Yeah, go I gotta go to the bathroom. I hate you, nigga. I ain't never seen niggas. That, that was the illest shit. bathroom break I ever seen on Dream Center ever. 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 He walked around the room. He walked around the room and talked to people. And said, I gotta be. He walked up smooth as hell. Hey, yeah, let's keep talking. We'll go to the bathroom. No, I'm, gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm always gonna piss. <laughs> yo, yo, chill, chill, Flush. Come on, man. I don't like all that, man. Sorry, sorry, on, man. sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sound that protection shit. Sorry. Look, guys, guys. Sorry. Guys, real quick. Real, real quick, my, fr- my friends. Listen. Are you, are you high enough? I'm good now. All right, cool. I feel like my a grown man. Yeah, I went from I a little better. boy to a grown man. I feel better. Yo, my G, man. check this out. As the Miami DJ guy that has nothing to do with all this Queens chemistry going on right uh-huh. here, mm-hmm. I just want to tell you guys right here, I feel honored because you guys are a part of a legacy of an underground movement in hip hop that you guys, like you guys are the majority right here that started that movement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Cats in Miami were peeping game. LA LA comes out. Shit's Real comes out. Royal Flush comes out. Like, you guys are a part of this movement that, that, that moves hip hop in a certain direction. Mm-hmm. That cats in Miami are peeping game. That's crazy. And real quick, and I want to tell you something. When, when your cover came out with the grills, cats in Miami were peeping game. Because we were wearing grills down here. <laughs> and we was like, is he from Care City? Let me find out. He's going to the party. Get the walk From up. South Jamaica, Carolina. I don't City, feel like I said shout out um, shout, shout out Coach. Shout out Steve White. Oh, um, that's what you said, um, from back in the day. That's yeah. what you're talking about. No, from out here. Oh, oh, my, my, oh, 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 when we came out here, my nigga, and we checked in with him. I, nigga talk about not checking in. I love when we checked in with him, yeah. my nigga, it was, I was so comfortable. I, yeah, we so beautiful. So beautiful. So comfortable, so beautiful. I respect him. Definitely love um, Miami. He made Miami comfortable for me. Oh. Oh. So you don't came out with a Christian album. You came out with a Christian album? Really? You really gonna believe him? No, the smoke I, I kind of do. Well, let me let me find out about this Christian album. You had a Christian album? Did you hear me with the joint? No, that's what I've been doing. Hit me with the whole That's the whole book. Hit me with the whole book. That's the whole book. Yo, can you tell me about your Christian album? I don't got TDJ. I don't got TDJ. I got DTJ. You got an album with a Christian and don't curse. Stop playing. No, it's not correct. Stop playing. The guy's not Christian and don't curse. Who? Stop playing. I told you. That we in the sky. Wait, this too much. We didn't even talk about I was trying to tell you. Listen, I've never seen this in my life. Oh, wait, Tom, I sister. Let me sit back here. Nah, we did that with y'all already. Yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't reverse it. We did that with y'all already. We already had y'all analyzed the same way. It's too late. What? No, but you came up. And you and Dad are coming up with the album. 
Come yeah. on. Let's talk me about and my it. man Lot got a, you know, EP Lot, out. he don't curse. No. That's he don't curse. He's Christian. <laughs> what? I gotta be a Christian. What? What? I mean, he can be a Christian, but he don't curse. Yo. A Muslim. What's so, funny? It's just Christmas. <laughs> so you cr- Our Kim didn't curse. He's in the He's, he's gone he, by. He's in front of He's gone by. That's some bullshit. My man is yeah, smart. That's why if I listen to Pay the Full Album, I won't hear curse. There's no there curse. No, there's no curse. No curse. It's hard shit. Yeah. There's no curse. Yeah. No cigarettes. No, no, no cigarettes. No cigarettes. And no cigarettes. Thanks for the time. No, but it's no for this. I was putting it to the side. Can't do it any fucking way. No, but Mr. Lee, be careful, because Mr. Lee will fly down. Like a Dominican fucking Antichrist. I'm way out the streets. I'm living good with my life. Life switched up. I'm a grown man now, 45. Love my kids. Street 45 is a great age. So no yes, more yes, cigarettes? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, I didn't finish. He knows what I used to sell. That's not what I did. Oh, it's a different story. It's yes. a different story. Flying back. Yeah, yeah. Fly back you guys start from somewhere to get to somewhere. You so somewhere. I'm here. So I'm comfortable with myself. God damn, make some noise. Words like that. And he's Cuban B. And he's Cuban B. Yes, Cuban B. Before I knew school, I knew coke. But listen, uh-huh. I'm just from both, nigga. I don't know why we got to put that in Cuban B. He says Cuban B. He knew school with cocaine. That's how Cuban B. All right, guys. Let's go. 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 Let's
fucking walk. I looked. I said, "Holy yeah, shit!" That's true. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. You had it made, sir. In Queensbridge. Am I lying, Flush? No, nah, hey, that's a bad idea. Why are you asking him? Why no, are you asking him? Why are you asking him? Let's think about it. But he really had a wash and dry. Cause yeah. I wash my clothes. Uh, Cause we, we shared the same clothes. How'd you get a wash and dry? That's how tight we are, family. Yeah, y'all was the same size back then. Yeah. 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 yeah, not the same size no more. No, yeah. 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 Right. A lot of niggas from Flushing wasn't coming through Queensbridge at uh-uh. that time. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. But, but you say the Queensbridge. Plan. You say Queensbridge, but left yeah, like crazy. Right. No, no, no. I'm just, no, no, I'm not. I want to keep it here with bro. Yeah, bring it back to, to, to Capone. To, to man. Capone. Because, like, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas from other sides of Queens wasn't going to Queensbridge at that time. Mm-hmm. Now, was you going to Queensbridge because you had family there, or was you going to Queensbridge because you just said, fuck it? I just said, fuck All right, cool. They got but, loose cracks but, out yeah. there. He, he was but part of the, the... No, no, but, but Flush was the originator of niggas coming to Queensbridge from other <laughs> areas. Yeah, from Queensbridge. Yeah. 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 Y'all came to Wastelands. That was the first time I met y'all. But yeah. I never forget the day but, I met y'all. Yeah, my, my, my name is him. But, but, but the thing is, he brought the name so Flush. When I, when I came to Queensbridge, it was other Rommel's. But I was from Flushing. Was from so Flushing. Queensbridge said, nigga, your name is Flush. Because you from Flushing. Yeah. So yeah. that name is coming? That's where his name came. Damn, Damn. Rob right. Flush. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's Cuban. Yeah, did you ever sell loose cracks? I'm gonna be honest. I, I mean, I had a whole crew, nice, black. I mean, I, I, I was there. I was there. Come on, I'm man. That's all shit. That's what I'm be honest. honest. I used I to look at Queensbridge cracks. They shit used to they be. They was loose. They, no, no, but hold on. They used to sell. This is a dime. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> hold on. What are you doing, man? I was like, yo, can I buy 12 of those? <laughs> and I would bring three out of those ones to end. These, that's why the niggas just look like Popeyes. Look at Paul Ann right now. Look at this shit. <laughs> I got to look at you. <laughs> there's the whole loose crack. He got, he got, he got his shit, he got his shit polished right now. He ain't helping. He ain't helping. He, help he, he got tattoos and all that. Look. He look, look kind of this is, you this is flush at my line. <laughs> flush at my line. There's the whole loose like, crack. Like, no, they do it right niggas, now. Them niggas' hands right and, and, and this shit used to be like Popeyes. Like Cause they was high as hell. They didn't know. But it, like, it, right. it was so much competition that they had to do it, my nigga. Yo, it was right. 70 niggas on one block and everybody yeah, nigga ain't wanna money, my bag nigga. it up uh-uh. in the pot. It just got it in your hand. That's it, nigga. That's it. I chopped right in my hand with the razor. That's what it cracked. Give me a juice talk. Right on the head. Yeah, I used to bust the whole slab down on the head. Like, like flush full slab. Yeah. Yo, you showed nigga she rock flux? Yes, you did. Don't New York. Me? So no, she got, so no, I didn't want to tell you it was coke, nigga. You my man. Why you? I don't know. You show it to me. Don't get that fucked no, up. No, I didn't say that. I just told you what. Yeah, what? Yeah, no, you ain't I was sell me no work, did you? Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, you got fucked to tell us. I used to watch you sell people you cheap. Yeah, the coke hat on. I never really nigga. fucked with you like that. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> I didn't tell you what it was. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, look at that. Flush it in the middle. Make some noise. Cause Flush yeah. would, was always a nigga that would make something out of ab- like I swear to God on some real shit. Mm. Them days when I did not have an answer and I was like, yo, all this shit is crazy. Flush would make something happen out of nothing. Mm. And that's what been back. I got that from Pong. He was hustling. Ooh. I got that from Pong though. Flush would tell people she got that and me. they'd be okay. This with just it. makes a noise for me. <laughs> 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 My cousin, his swagger, <laughs> like to bring his swagger. Uh, uh, let me just tell you oh something. Oh my God! My I used to go, out, I used to go outside our pond. It's a Tommy uh-huh. Hilfiger day. Mm. This day used to take two hours to get dressed. Oh, I used to be like, yo, wait a minute. Wow. I'm oh, trying to God. match your gun with your socks. Because <laughs> <laughs> we going out with hammers at this time. How does it take for this long? Oh no, listen. 
was he got the orange. I was, I was around this. He got the orange little. He got the orange Tommy Hilfiger sleeve. Aren't they the worst that in the world? That match his drawers and his socks. You're right. But nobody else seen his drawers and his socks. <laughs> so I'm like, why you took two hours to match your drawers and your socks? He's like, I'm gonna take something down. I said, okay. Yeah, there's a little horniest niggas you know. Let's be clear. This nigga here. Horny nigga. Horny, yeah, horny nigga. But aside from that, it's it's right. aside from from that. that. if you tell the nigga to get ready and he be ready by 12. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he be ready by 12. He got no hair. He got no hair. Every single thing has to fall in a correlation yeah. with everything. Yeah. Look, look, look. look. Yeah. It's not me, like though. The red. The red. And all that shit takes 15 hours. Yeah. And the promoter is like, what the fuck is up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm good. I know that shit is possible. I'm all right. Oh, I said it. it's all right. It's a family thing. Yeah. But now I'm clear on it. Yeah, now. Nah. <laughs> Make some noise clear on it. So you have you ever thought about trying to make it right with her, guy? Or did you ever think about? Can we not make it right here on Dream Team? No, no, no. I went. Yeah. You, you, this is what I want to reiterate. Like I said, yeah, I love Verb no matter what we've been through. Because, like I said, what we did changed so many lives outside of ourselves. What is this? So my reward, like people don't people understand, bro. I would be at home. Help me smoke it. And I would see DMX doing the show. Me. Or I would see Jay doing the Grammys, or I would see whatever, and that's enough for me. Because I know all this shit originated from shit's real. I don't have to be outside doing this shit. Mm -hmm. My niggas is taking over the world. So let's be clear, you're claiming that if shit's real wasn't came out, there wouldn't be a... a I'm not saying that. You could steal my drugs. Let me me, me be very clear. I need you to be clear. Jay-Z and Ja Rule, and DMX with so much of talents that no matter where they would have fell, no matter who they would have fell under, and no matter what time they would have fell, they would have changed the world. That's how great their talent. That's how I feel about Pharrell, but at the same token, that's not great history without me. I helped the brother get there. I didn't feel that way. You didn't feel you didn't know No, I did not. I don't need no acknowledgement for that. I was just the bridge that whatever it was that's bigger than all of us chose at that time. But it, it's not to say that because I'm the bridge that's chosen, I'm greater than anything. I don't want to say you're greater, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Could you I'm, deserve your props for, for putting the age But you know what, I go on some real shit. We was just talking about this in the car coming up here. It's very hard for me to accept a compliment. And it's very hard for me to accept being something great. And I don't know where that came from, bro. I don't know why it's hard for me to get myself ready. Is that why when I when I do interviews and I be like, nigga, hanging out with Mike was like being with Nas. Like my life, my life was comfortable. Like being with you at one point, you know? I like it, nigga. I'm very flush to this day. (laughs) He said I'm very flush. Fucking Whoa. right. Pretty I much every time y'all y'all went back and forth right. tonight, I agree with you. But when he just said that, I really want you to understand. Like, cause I, I said that in the intro, and you even looked at me. When you changed the course of Queens at one point, it was Nas, and we thought that was it. You know, we had a great run. And, you know, the bridge is over. It was all that, and then and then chill, and then the natural came out, and shit is real came out, and we felt we felt established again. You have to feel like that, bro. I don't. Yeah. You have. You have to, I man. Don't. Well, we're gonna make you feel like that today. Yeah. Let's do one more shot, goddamn. I'm in. I'm in. Let's go. Let's go. That nigga's brought me. Mama, Mama, Mama Julio. Julio. I give you some shots. Mama Julio. Let me try Mama Julio. 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 Every minute Julio. might never be a minute. You Mama Julio. 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 When I would see you and him, and I remember all four of us being in the lobby of the Auburn, and I remember the day 
you had on a polo hat, mm -hmm. like a bucket, and you was in the lobby too, and I didn't even know y'all niggas spit. Mm -hmm. But I remember the joy I felt when I figured out who CNN was, this thing that I'm hearing about, and who the niggas are Call at CNN. You, thank you, thank you, my brother. I kept time. hearing about CNN, 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 and I was like, who the fuck is a fucking CNN? Oh, that's this one. But then I met, and you in particular that day, I remember. Because I remember when I met you, I was like, yo, this nigga is a big ball of energy. Let's get you a shot. We ain't shot at. And you so much of a big ball of energy, the Stop. world ain't gonna be able to stop no, that energy. Come on. Stop. No, 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 no. That's not your shot. That's ace. That's no. ace. Put your ace down. <laughs> no. Shout out to Duce. 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 There you go. Yeah. 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 And you told me that. You actually told me it was you and this nigga in the lobby. It was all of us wasteland niggas, but y'all came over for something. I think he told you come on. And you was telling me, yo, y'all signed a deal. Y'all was getting ready to do X, Y, and Z. And I kept it in the back of, and I remember the day that I saw your video and I was like, okay. LA, LA? You want me to take no, it? No, it was before LA, LA. No, that's, we only got LA, LA. Oh, I said, yeah. boom, that was it. Yeah, LA, LA. Let me just tell you something. I'm just being I... honest with you. This is what they told me when LA, LA came out. It's that they Mike Geronimo with you. What? Listen. So I was from that <laughs> rap. The whole video was in Queensbridge. <laughs> <laughs> I had no props to tell them to move it to left rack. And they was Wait, like, so I was synonymous with like, no, 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 I had the gold fronts on. I really didn't want to be there at all. But it's not that I didn't want to be there. It's that I wanted to represent for mines because I just felt like there were so many people being, you know, <clears throat> repping a place that they wasn't from. Like, I used to go back to Left Rack and they used to be like, Queens Bridge. I used to be shooting at niggas' windows. <laughs> what the fuck? Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? Like, for real. Like, like, for real. Like, I, 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 I was shooting at my own. But the thing was, when I did the LA LA video and I let I let Trash cast, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna do the part in left right. And I was just like, nah, man, I gotta do a part in left right. I, gotta, I just can't. I just, I'm, this is not who I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm from left right. I'm from, I'm from 97 Dash, 3057 Avenue, apartment 5E, going to New York, 11368. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, wait, was, so wait, but but you you killing me right now? Yeah, like, you was the first one. Yeah. So my, 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 no, it was like, Prodigy my first one. Self is saying, wait, so you were one. like the, 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 the poster boy for, they'll yeah. just take you and make you from anywhere in Queen. No, it was Prodigy first. Okay. And then you were the second. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's what they say. <laughs> I appreciate you for, for giving me. Yeah, like, but you were the I think I want to be the third. So I'm just, but but I was you, the third. It's you were the third, and you I changed it after that. After that. Do you know how many times I said Iraq and war report after that? Bro, I, look, it's like thirty-seven hundred thousand times. You put y'all as you because I started to find out that the whole thing is Iraq. No, I didn't want niggas to think I was from Queensbridge because I was not. One of my best friends, and he was from Queensbridge, and the, Queen, and the, the Queensbridge militia was so hot at the time. But See, it was but great. You know but nah. I didn't care. But time out. I didn't care. Did. I knew. Hey, yo, anybody here crazy. when you know he came out, you thought he was from Queensbridge? You didn't think I read? No, no, stop, 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 stop. 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 No, that's the, he can't answer that. He can't answer that. No, 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 it's because certain people that know it. I know what he's saying. No, they know where he's from. Relax, check, check, check. Relax, relax. No, no, no. Come on. L.A. 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 Stop, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. L.A. He's right, he's right, though. He's right. My first impression was L.A. L.A. He's right. All right, all right. L-L-L-A was my idea. 
Not to say that I put it that together. Was you. Nah, nah, Chill. Nah, Hold nah, on. Let me nah, say it put nah. it together. I was with my man Chaz. Chaz, Capone knows who Chaz is. Poochie and Oz know who Chaz is. And I stood outside and Chaz played me New York, New York. Big city of dreams. Mm-hmm. He said, I can't tell if they dissing us. And I said, Chaz was on something called a DJ list. DJ list, you get it two months in advance. Sad. That's the people yeah. that they believe in you. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I go to Queensbridge to Capone's house. Mm-hmm. Let's be clear. I go to Queens with the phone house. Trash, let me big up Trash. Trash calls Mom Deep at the time and says, yo, we're doing a bad boy mixtape. This is when the mixtape shit was, was so huge. That's when P.I. That's when P.I. Uh, no, I got this, I got this. Yo, like, so we got the bad boy mixtape. It's Fresh Armstrong. Trash does call. Yo, so we got the bad boy mixtape. It's Fresh Armstrong. Trash does call. The Ma- I, 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 don't, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know who he called. But we all wind up in Stretch Armstrong's spot. Mm. They say, yo, what we gonna do? Whatever, whatever. I say, yo, my man Chaz just played me New York, New York. Mm. Let's see. So he pulled it up. None of us think that they going at us. Let's be clear. Mm-hmm. Hold on, we're not having like, hold on, I'm sitting there. None of us think that. But we also like, fuck it. Let's just have a response. <laughs> You we trying to get it. on. We trying to get on. Head that's all we thinking. Listen, listen, listen. That's that's what what we just said, let's just have a response uh, yeah. just in case. So we all recorded our verse. And Paul, you stop me if I'm lying at any point, bro. I take my shoes off because that's how good I feel about it. <laughs> <laughs> we we like lay everything. The shit comes out. The only person that actually said anything remotely about LA was Prodigy. Yep. God bless him. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. But he said, JFK on our way to LA. If you don't remember what the verse it is, he said, NYC, you and I verse, supremacy, havoc and peace, Queens nigga, so it seemed to be mega. Got word back from Noriega. And he said, JFK on our way to LA. By the way, I didn't know how I knew who my name was. I had never met P at that time. I never oh, met Prodigy. Wow. I met Albert. Oh, wow. I never met Prodigy at wow. the time. So he, that let you know he was tuned in with what we were doing. Am I lying, Paul? Let's come on. Nah. Like, you are, just in uh-huh. case niggas, you can see nah, my nah. face. See, I got you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll cut you off. Calm down. I'll cut you off. Take another shot. So, <laughs> I didn't the moment. Okay, I don't want to. Damn, care, no way to LA. So, the shit drops. The shit drops. Right the shit drops. Everybody is saying, everybody's saying, New York niggas went at them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, calm down. We got, we got a system here. Okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> so they, everybody saying, New York niggas went at these niggas, right? Mm-hmm. We don't know. Okay, hold on. Let me calm down. Wait, wait was he hold the on, first shot? It was mm-hmm. the only shot because he said JFK on our way to LA. So, here's that. This that was real before thing. he did worldwide. No, wait, no, wait, keep, 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 keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to lay it all out. Lay it out. I'm going to lay it all out. Please lay it out. Poems right here, right? Mm-hmm. So, we all lay our verses. We don't really understand what's going on. Me and Poem. Goes to the tunnel. That night, we go to Biggie. You tell me if I'm lying. We go to Biggie, we say, yo, we went back at these niggas. Biggie said, we're back at who? Yeah, yeah, I believe that. Off we quick. said we went back at, we're, we're back at, at, you know, you know, just right, the West right, Coast right, right, dudes. Right, right, right. He said, well, I ain't co-signing that. We said, yo, we did it for the bad boy mixtape. He looks at us to our face. Tell me if I'm lying. And he says, well, I'm not going to use it. At the time, I was a kid, 18 years old. Big. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, don't, mm-hmm. I don't understand that he understands at that time how powerful he is. So we submitted to Stretch Armstrong. They never used it. 
Am I lying? Yeah. Oh, wow. it, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't you know, so man, much Biggie call. It was so much more pop. He just call. said some crazy shit. Okay. No, because that means that I'm. Yo, P.I., nah, I'm that sorry, That shit never bro. made it, bro. How that never made it. It, that never, was every, it didn't make listen, the mixtape. No, but that was everybody's no, right breakout yeah. song mixtape. That was the locks, you niggas done started something. Right. That was, uh, uh, I think, that was Black Rob. Who else was on that mixtape? Every, every, everybody, that was, everybody, was, that was 96. Yeah. Yeah. We were on that That was 96. They chucked, they chucked us. us. You ain't on that. So, so you hold on. So, hold on. 96, 95. They chucked us. Stretch Armstrong, you forgive me if I'm wrong. I might have this facts. And he'll call us. Stretch Armstrong you can tell said, us. "Fuck that." I know this record is a hit. He white labeled it. He went to his pops and got. I around. have the white label. He went to his pops and my. Uh, he went to his pops, pops and got along. He went to his pops it. and got along. Anybody else? These are the documentary. He talks about it in the documentary. I can tell you. Hold on, let's finish. Mike, it's all time. Good. Then we got you. Mm-hmm. So the shit drops. We chopped off the bad boy too. Mm-hmm. We 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 we're so stoked. We call Mob Deep. Mm-hmm. This is our time to be on the bad boy mm-hmm. And we call Mob Deep. This is the big homies at the time. Right. Mm-hmm. right. We called them to come to the studio and they reject our record. He got loud earlier, so I had to get loud. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> right, but wait, how did they reject the record? The glass because we didn't tell you he was gonna reject the record. Bitch, look at me in my eyes. But not after the white labeling. No, this is no, prior this to it. No, this is before the white labeling. I told Big. He's he's telling you know, the I told Big. I said, yeah. yeah. listen, I'm going back at these guys yeah. to yeah. hold us down in New York. After they already recorded with you, though. Was it my mind? No, this is prior. I told him no. this is what we're going to do. And Big said, I thought it was bullshit. He was oh, like, Big, okay. Big, big small. He's like, yeah. nah, I'm not going to use that shit. And we went in and we did it. Anyway, that's my man Chad. Wait, did you tell him the cocaine story? Oh, let's go with the cocaine story. I mean, no, 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 we can't leave no, no. this story and go to cocaine. Let me finish. 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 Let me Stress goes, yo, and stress is our man. We got all this shit. And he says, yo, what do you, what do you guys, you know, want to do? Mm-hmm. Traz did call the mob there. Let's, let's give Traz your respect. Mm-hmm. So we stood there. Oh, wait, can I ask you a quick question? Yes, please. Real, real quick, like question, quick question, both question. you guys. Mm-hmm. Is it a Mob Deep record or is it a CNN record? I, I want to know that. What you mean, I, I, what, LLA? Yes, LLA? yes. It's a CNN record. No, but wait, wait, because it's I don't know. The way it was projected to the DJs. Because we can't click. All right, let me tell you. But the way we got it, the way we got it, I was going to go there, too. The way it spread, the way it spread was it's a Mob Deep record. You want to explain it? Can you explain it? Because we might have two perspectives. But the same thing could be said about the same thing. I'm going to let you start. I'm going to let you start. So what was your answer to that? My whole thing was. You know, like. Oh, what was your answer? Give me the simple answer. Simple as we could clear the sample. But who was it? Whose record? That was, was our it? record. Oh, yeah. It's our record. It was our record. It was our record, right? Like, like, let's be clear. This Cause you know the white label said mob. This was our idea. Yeah. yeah. Not even just that our was record. The third right label. But you gotta yeah, understand. Yeah, I had the first one. You gotta no, understand. The first one. You said no, no, no. This was clearly. This was clearly. Listen. This was clearly happened, right? Thank this will clearly happen. You had, no, no. That was definitely a joke. Now listen, you had DJs who would take the record. They were like, who you got on the record? Capone and Omega get Mob Deep. All they're going to hear is Mob Deep. Obviously. So when they play the record, they're going to be like, new Mob Deep featuring Capone and right. right. But it can be the other way around. Right. But That's naturally, because right. Mob right. Deep is where they're at, That's right. they're just going to say, new but Mob Deep. But when you Deep. record it and put it out, whose record is it? That was us. Our record. That was off, their record. Off, 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 off record. Off off record. record. I, I love this question, by the way. All right. But EFN, it was a stretch on show who called us. So it was a DJ that constructed the record? Always. Well, yeah, I, I'm, no, I'm asking seriously. Wait, wait, I'm, 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 I'm just saying, you know, like if like if I put you guys in a 
dance together and did a freestyle. I told you, my like man that. Chaz played me New York, New York. Mm-hmm. When we no, got to the studio, it was, it was, when we got to the studio, came we can't believe. I can't believe. Hold on, hold on. They I can't didn't want to use the record. Look, Havoc is... Bad Boy didn't want to use the record. Havoc is grown across the street from Capone. So Capone don't give a fuck with that. Same Havoc's in the studio. Like me, I'm looking, I'm like, all right, cool, I got damn, I got Havoc at Pone. I look at these niggas in jail. I know I know Albert, but I know him as Albert. I know him as a different way. Shut, shut, shut. So I'm looking, all right, all right, cool. I'm like, all right, cool. But we're here. So we have nothing to pull up. And I say, yo, can y'all pull up New York, New York? And then they pulled it up. And when they pulled it up, we couldn't tell if they dissed us or not. So all we did was make a response record. None of those verses was dissing I, LA. I, 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 Other I, than the I, fact I, that y'all were dissing the LA. The video the lane, was the dissing LA. LA. Yeah. Yeah. The lingo, the, the, the lingo was the listen part to that the, really got people. The reason why we did that is because it didn't get it. Hold on, let's have one conversation because it's fucked up. Hold on, I'm young, young. Listen to the beginning. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I think you guys are worse. I know. 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 Mm-hmm. Through him, it didn't matter how I felt. It was dope, cause he did worldwide, and when he mm-hmm. did worldwide, I never it's forget the day I heard the record. I was like, yo, I could. Uh, was that, that was cool. I swear to God, I was like, yo, why don't you come to my house right now, bro? <laughs> <laughs> just by just you. Don't bring Rudy. Yeah, yeah. I think just shout you out to Rudy, man. I think your inspiration to me was to try to do something different, man. Like, no, you so, are, you a fucking lie. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about don't, 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 I talked about baby. No. You 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 wanted it. I remember that. I did. You wanted <laughs> it and you fucking lying. Oh own, own up to it. Once y'all did what you did, he kicked in. Nah, he was shit on the No, 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 no. He took it further. Right, he took it further. He took it further. Uh, he made I it all the But what I know about fucking with Doc Holliday, figuratively Doc speaking, Holliday is... Doc Holliday DJ. Right. Once Doc Holliday fires fi- a shot off, what I'm going to do is wire it up. No matter what, what I feel, I'd follow his shot. Mm-hmm. I don't care if, it, if it's right or wrong, if he was in the right for doing it, he laid it out there. Mm-hmm. You remember when we when we was down here and we seen the dog pound niggas? After you. And how can I be down? Uh, no, we was down here. How can I be down? I seen which goes in the trial. Dion Ward, right? Yeah, listen. Dion Ward. That's you was down head. here with oh, the you had a busload of niggas, and I kind of was. That was during one of the conventions. Right. I wasn't upset and bleak. This is something else that came up on the show. I wasn't mad at Bleak, because from what Bleak recalls from the story, when he told it on Drink Champs, I was like, I could understand how that's his version of the story based on how he got it. He said, yo, I had to hide Mike and Trash. That's not what happened. And this is all going on simultaneously with you and you choosing to be the forefront of the response. No other niggas in New York wanted to touch that shit with a 10-foot fucking pole. And this is where I give you two credit. You niggas had fucking balls. Cause no one had balls. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Crazy. Crazy. Goes back, I'm going to tell you an interesting story involving Daz and Corrupt. Mm-hmm. Down here. Y'all shoot off fucking Slam. New York, LA, LA. Y'all shoot that they off. Marijuana? And then he comes back with worldwide. Like a pop a bottle of motherfucking Ace, nigga. And when Flush does worldwide, the umbrella starts telling me this is not so a good thing. What do you thing. want, bro? 
So Flush mm-hmm. does worldwide and Flush is direct. And it was an incident that occurred at TVT with Big. Is that what made you do worldwide? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, an incident at TVT with Big? With B.I.G. Wait a minute. I never heard this. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, no, let's no talk about it. No one never heard it. Wait a yeah, we need to hear it. And Flush got me. All right. Big came up to TVT one day. And Big was fucking with them too. Oh, oh. Sorry, don't don't double over. We know the right. We know the difference. We know the difference. We that wasn't that. Yeah, he just got some money in the car. Y'all been wild. Wow. Sure. We all right. Everybody out there in Queens with with Chanel bags. <laughs> they out there wild. It's <laughs> space. <laughs> Wait, did you just call Queen's Rich Wakanda? Queen's Rich little Wakanda right now. Okay, this, this little Wakanda. Wakanda. Go get that. No, 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 go pour two glasses. No, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hold on, did you just go out here? Yeah, Fan, yeah, Fan, I'm getting worldwide. I mean, y'all can drink in the beer, guy. Cheers. I'm telling you the whole truth. Let me chill out. Come on, this is a team up to our friends. Big Kim was a team up. I'm sorry. Come on, this is that good shit. Yeah, stop me if I'm telling you. No, no, Big Kim up to TBT. Big Kim up to TBT when he had the red bands. He had the red bands convertible. Right. Uh huh. Cause I remember looking at the shit through the window from TVT. He's trying to get someone to sign the TVT? No. I don't know why he was there. To this day, he I like don't me. know why he was there. Rest in peace, he You like still me. don't know. That's, so that's, to this that day, part's a mystery. A mystery. I remember looking out the window and he was fucking them two twins, the bitches with the wavy long hair that was kind of... Jesus Christmas. You know what I'm talking about? I definitely don't. You don't? <laughs> yeah, you do. The chick in the Get Money video... Everybody was a twin. Twins, 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 the nigga Big had a Coca-Cola can in his right hand. And he was in the front desk of TVT, and he seen me come out, and the nigga took the Coca-Cola can and put it in his left hand on some purpose shit. I'm lying. No, I'm there. And the nigga was like, you know what's up? But it was different. He ate the Coca-Cola can? I'm no, so confused about he put the, the Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola can. can. You shake the nigga's hand with your right hand. He put the Coca-Cola in writing. He took the Coca-Cola can and put it in the lap. It's just a boy, you're not bad enough to compete with the challenge. You're not competing for a I'm getting I'm not getting Because I kind of looked at Flush like to double check, like, is she not? Am I walking out? Like, is this nigga doing some sideways shit? I know I fly off the handle. I know I'm an emotional dude. I know... I'm not street as everybody says I should be. Am I calling this one? The nigga flush looks at me and like, like, yo, that's disrespectful. And this is on the hinge of the, but he shitted on him in worldwide. He's just a boy. I'm big. Not bad enough. Flush was dissing big at that time. Not bad enough. You got a song over Shasha. Who shot And I was, I, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it on cat. I was pissed at him. Fuck that. Because everything that we do, Rest in peace, it's not like me and him wouldn't talk about it. Right. And I would always tell him, same shit BJ taught me. You shoot, I grab the wheel. I don't have no other choice. You my brother. So when he did worldwide, he totally did it on some pissing. But it, it wasn't no other way for me to do it. And but seeing it in L.A., LA I, I, I just let niggas know from New York. Niggas, what? niggas step on now our bridges. Wait, time out. Okay, like, time out. This is when all of this is going on. So I don't, I don't know if you niggas understood. We by default. Mm-hmm. We was your, we was your second line of defense. Like, in the event that them niggas wanted, would've wanted to turn it up. Keep your mind on Queens when it's time to start ball. Ball. 
So he was telling you niggas, niggas like, yo, don't fuck with I'm us. I'm picking up where you left off. You talk about them niggas, I'm going to talk about these niggas. Right, and I'm, I'm, I'm upset with him because I'm like, yo, bro, I fuck with everyone and you didn't forewarn me. So now when I see niggas, now I got to be on. Got I got to be ready to fucking black, pop up. You got to black, Cause you ain't Hey, yo, listen, we having a great time. We do part two. Got my family here. It's an old Queens thing. Me and you was like a group, and them two is a group. Nah, it's all good. I like that. I'm, 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 I'm real good spectator. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I, I like, man, man, without us so all being each other, I, I like we all kept each other back for Queens. We tell our story a lot, man, but nobody really get to hear Mike's no. story a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 so when I would go to L.A. with the first trip I ever took to L.A. outside of New York City, bro, when it was me, Craig Mack, and Biggie Small. Damn. And we met the, we met the other Biggie Smalls. The nigga who filed the lawsuit that made him change his name to Notorious, Notorious B.I.G. Mm -hmm. Nigga, this nigga's this tall. <laughs> I kid you not. This nigga's this tall. And showed up at a club in L.A. with a gang of niggas. Dang and the nigga was like, oh, I never finished the story about fucking um, the club, the, the, the other club where, where Pac rolled up. I'm going to get back to that one because that was real shit. Right, <laughs> Boom. So we go out on tour with these niggas, and this is why he did Worldwide. Give me that shit. And the funniest shit was, I noticed they never said a word. And I kept waiting while I was on that tour for them to say something about Ramel. And I kept saying to myself, yo, the minute that these niggas say some disparaging shit about Ramel Gavantes, I'm picking up whatever I have near me, and I'm gonna let niggas know, don't say nothing about my brother, bro. Yeah. And he made the choice he made, and I can't take that back I'm for him. I'm still on the tour. I wasn't scared of shit. I didn't give a fuck. But you wasn't in L.A. with us, feeling oh. the repercussions of your record and his dad's when we in front of the Shelbourne. What you dad? forget that yeah. night? What? When y'all left? Over an hour with dad's no. right now. When it's beautiful. all them niggas, when beautiful all the old pal niggas came. We went to the club and they, they jumped No, us. Not, not when the nigga hit jumped me with the pistol. Jumped y'all no, we went to some club, <laughs> niggas. I, I, I picked my cup, nigga. He was knocked out. Took my nigga. That's home. another story. Yeah, that's another story. Time. But that's a so picture. Well in my that's a picture you see with him, yeah, Jay Z, and Biggie. That was, that was that day. That was that. So well. No, we we fast. To keep everything in perspective, so he already opted to join y'all in the. Nobody's going to talk about my city and about flattening buildings, and I'm going to be okay with it. Mm -hmm. You niggas were the only niggas with enough courage to confront niggas who was like, yo, your city means shit. Mm -hmm. Well, I, know, I don't give a I, fuck how nobody slices it. I had a fucking Queensbridge. Yeah, yeah. I had a luck Queensbridge. And then Queensbridge. after you go. did that, he did worldwide. Right. And it was crazy for me as a person because, like I said, I was always 550 with everybody, bro. Mm -hmm. I was always cool with everybody, but I already knew Where's if he going? picked this lane and y'all asserted that lane, I said, you know, I'm mm. yeah. Very hectic. One day, me and this nigga is in front of the show. Uh -huh. I know the show is right there. I'm there right now tonight. Gaz and Corrupt come out. Oh, my. This is after you did LALA, LA, and this is in the midst of him doing Worldwide. Mm -hmm. And I never met them door pound niggas a day in my motherfucking life, bro. Here where this goes. This was the, I'm gonna tell you exactly when this was. 
Remember when old dirty got into trouble in a club on the beach? Mm-hmm. Remember when we, we, down. That was that, that was when that we had a bus full of militainment niggas? No, that's, that's definitely a different year. Okay. Yeah, I was a so, okay. Right. Oh, was, you had a bus was, full of militainment yeah, niggas yeah, on Miami Beach. That's, that's, that's fact. That's we'll get back to them. That was 99. 99. Boom. Oh, Me and this nigga's in the club, and I tell this nigga, I say, hey, the nigga Old Dirty did something that ain't right with niggas is fit to go down. Not with us directly, yeah. but the umbrella, again. I told him what I said. I'm going to the cigarette machine to get a pack of cigarettes. Did I not say that? Hey, that ain't how it ended. That's how I, I mean, that's what you but said. But do you not remember that point? <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. That's what you said. I said, yo, I'm going to put my coins in the cigarette machine, get some cigarettes, and then after that, we fit in the split because it's going to go down. And then sure enough, the skies blue, all hell broke loose. I'm happy to make it home one night, my nigga. We Thank get you. back to the hotel. I'm staying in front of the hotel. Dads come out. I don't know Dad. Mind you, I love their music, though, bro. Nigga, Dad's like, yo, what's up, man? He right next to me. Can I say this? And you not be upset about no, no, it? No, I'm not. But they my people. They fuck with us up, right? It's okay so, with you for so me to I'm say it. And we all cool now so we can talk about it. You know that. So the nigga dad's like, what's up, Mike? So I'm kind of shocked by just the acknowledgement because of the tension at that time. And y'all, y'all know that tension was so deep, you could cut that shit with a knife, bro. For real. Definitely was deep. You could cut, you could literally cut Definitely. that tension with a knife and fold it to two curtains. The nigga said, the nigga looked at Ramel and was like, yo, because I feel like slapping the shit out of New York nigga right now. I don't look at when I heard that. And when he said that shit. Who said that? Dad said that? On, on God. I'm shout, out, queen. Shout, shout out to Dad for being like, that. Shout out, out, shout out to my nigga. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he yeah, said that, after yeah. telling me what's up, Mike, I kind of looked at the nigga like, yeah, that's kind of foul, because you're going to divide me with my brother. And then you're going to say, I feel like slapping the shit out of New York nigga right now. Mm. I call Oop and them niggas. Oop and all them bottom niggas rolled right on up. A nigga from the bottom came up on him by accident. It was like, hey. What's up? Hey, these you fuck boys. Nigga had no drawers on with some night nice swoosh pants with two <laughs> nines. <laughs> and rolled up on, on this nigga like, hey, so this then. And Oomp like, no, 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 man. That's Mikey <laughs> first. That ain't them. Yeah. That ain't them. They, they call it. It's for something else. But long story short, we worked it out. Corrupt calls us. Two years later to do a record with him. Dion Warren. Dion Warren. You know. Uh, um, well, it's mad people want to buy Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane. Tyrese. Tyrese. What's the nigga you love that sang the, uh, the, the house? Uh, 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 Horace Brown. Uh, Horace Brown. That you love, obviously. You mean <laughs> Horace Brown? He loved the Horace Brown money. It was dope. He definitely started dancing. He I said, said no, he started dancing. He said, you love this guy. Dance. But yo, I'm, I'm just saying it as to say. It's so crazy how none of us really knew where all of us stood, but when y'all niggas moved unbeknownst to you, that 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 that, that, that was right behind. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Even yeah. even even as uncomfortable as, as it made me feel, us, it, it was there. and even with knowing was Irv was like, yo, my ultimate goal is to take the template of Death Row and build Murder Inc. around the template. Even though I'm seeing that, and they had Marv Deep with them, nigga, we knew, but we still we should have put them on there. We didn't even know that we didn't even feel like we had Marv Deep with us. I mean, I'm asking what? you, Paul. I'm asking you, Paul. I mean, How did you feel in the moment? Because, like, no. I mean, everyone else can't relate to this conversation that I just said. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, Steve Rippin definitely called us the day before when he was filming this video. He did? He said, Prodigy does not want to be a part of this. No. I mean, do you remember that? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Yeah, I mean, uh-huh. like, you know, I mean. But then, hold on, let me, before you say that. But then the next, let's say Steve Rippin called us Friday. Mm-hmm. 
Saturday morning, hit him up or whatever that shit came up. Like, Don't one of you niggas got sick of cell? And we was filming this shit on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Sunday, Friday's just ready to the video. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. amazing, bro. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, because once your hands move, okay, okay, okay. nah, but yeah, like, I felt like, I felt like, nah, like, I felt like, nah, like, I I felt like at one stuff. point, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, we, we gotta remember, we still underdogs, man. We still, you know, this is still, the we're still Tupac not. Never us, even though it was an yeah, we're still not yeah. Pony Nori yet. We're yeah. still not that Tupac, like. Wait, time out. So y'all wasn't seeing that at that point. No, no what I'm no, saying, no, we're CNN, yeah. but we're not yeah. CNN to the world yet. That's we're not. The world. Okay. They not. Okay. They don't know us as CNN. Not CNN. Not think it's more beat picture. They think you know no. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The two kids. Yeah. But they don't know us as CNN. So you know, I think Deep At first, you know, when the records start getting hot. They didn't care whether it said Mob D featuring CNN or right. whatever. But when that saw start coming, nah, it's them niggas wrecking. Right. That's them niggas wrecking. That's them niggas wrecking. All right, so yeah, that's how wrecking now. Now y'all know that's how wrecking. And then everything transpired from there. You know, verses getting taken off and uh-huh. videos getting shot and things. But at first, you know, I don't think that Mob did not have our back. I just think that they didn't care. Like, they just doing a favor for the niggas that's coming up in the hood, as they should. No, nah, yeah, That's what it seemed like as a you know DJ. We seen y'all like, push the button. Co-signing. It was, was co-signing us, you know what yeah. I'm saying? When we seen y'all niggas push the button, and I know for me personally, I was just but like... We never push the button. Let me just tell you, Mike. To be honest. <laughs> nah, be honest. It's real shit. Really? Yeah. Like, we just put the record out to answer them. Yeah, It that's wasn't it. until they kicked down the buildings. When they kicked out the buildings, that's when we made a video to react. It was yeah. just two records. You see, we first. threw Snoop off the bridge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, all I know is when she, once y'all was real, moved, but and know. I saw him move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but here, but here's the real reality of it. They did a record. We didn't know if it was ill or not. If it was coming out of us or not. We did a record. I control. They didn't know if it was coming out of them or not. It was just that Prodigy's verse was damn K on my way to LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Prodigy asked yeah. to get his verse taken off. That's all of Ricardo. Ironically, once Prodigy asked to get his verse taken off, Tupac went at all of us, but the only person he went at was, don't worry, you niggas got sick of sound. Yeah. 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 And it was Pete. So then the next day, was, we got the call on Friday. Saturday, we told the ticket off. Sunday, we said that Prodigy would not make the video. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, he made the video. See, and it's kind of crazy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's real shit. He can tell you, I felt very awkward based on everything we had talked prior to this point. Mm-hmm. Because Cause of the worldwide. No, not even that, but y'all my family. Right. Mm-hmm. Why are you from here? Oh, the LA, LA. You put me in Craig Back video. That wasn't me, that was her. Yeah, I ain't want y'all with me in there. The Kirk Mack video? You had the Kirk Mack video? He's He's talking about flavor. Yeah, Yeah, I was there. They ain't put me in it. They let me (laughs) (laughs) know. I said, I ain't want it. Did you say you put you in flavor? I was dancing like this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, yo, hey, yo. I'm fucking with you, nigga. I ain't want to be in flavor with you. Come on, man. 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 Stop. Nah, but look, yo, Mike, Wait, Mike, 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 look, Mike, Wait, let me tell you one of the illest moments for me. <laughs> for you. I'm up north. I'm in the day room. Woo, woo. Mm. Soul Train comes on. Mike Geronimo featuring P. Diddy. Mm. Woo, woo, woo. And who comes on doing all Diddy parts? Flush. Flush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you, you know. You know who brought you home? Who are we on? I brought you home. Uh, From where? And my man K-Song brought you home. Where was we at? Y'all niggas was in the Palladium, and you ended up fighting with niggas across That's on the, the other balcony. That's the night I got the, 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 uh, the fell out of steps night. And the nigga grabbed the candlestick yeah. that was about six That's the steps tall. night. I, I, I got a split in the head right here from that night. 
Because when we saw you fighting, and we was on this side of the club, mm -hmm. and it was a balcony and a palladium that stretched over to the other side. Yeah. I saw the nigga grab. Talk to the mic, yeah. I saw the nigga grab the candlestick. Yeah. Me, him, and I think it was Randy and Rudy, and my man K Song. We went down the stairs, went under the shit, and went up the stairs to where y'all were. Mm -hmm. And y'all was brawling with niggas. I don't even know who the niggas was. Yeah, I don't know. Me and my man Kason took you and and Norman. Mm -hmm. We dropped you off in the PJs in Queensbridge. Mm -hmm. You told me you was going in the next day. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget that. That might have been a little while longer than after that. Facts, but yeah. you said something like, we, y'all niggas was born nah, but I had mad, I had mad extensions, though. I yeah. was probably definitely supposed to go but in. But me and my man k we drove y'all back to the bridge in mm -hmm. my man k -Son's van that had mad smash boxes in it. Yeah. I'll never forget it. And y'all niggas was tight with each other because of whatever happened at the fight. You and him was arguing in the back of the yeah. van. But we dropped y'all off. We gonna argue right now. And that was the day that I was like, I don't even know who we're gonna argue about. We're gonna argue about. I'm trying to get my cheeseburger baby. Cause goddamn it. Cheeseburger baby. Let's go. Take the pictures. Y'all was thumping with some niggas in the plate. He's thumping with you right now. Body nigga. That's how we. That's how we do it. And I never forget, cause I, I remember watching you niggas fight, and I was like, damn, oh, the niggas fight a lot of niggas, but they is not, not giving up that. right now. They, they gave me in the heaven. No, 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 no. And we don't. We don't. Oh, 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 you bust my shit. Y'all niggas was, was <laughs> trying to give it to niggas, and I remember I seeing the nigga pick up the candlestick. It was black. It was like six feet, seven feet Jesus. tall. It was a tall black. Like prop that was in the Palladium, mm -hmm. and he didn't swing it at you or you. He swung it at somebody with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once he swung it, we all was on the, the opposite side of the club, but we saw y'all fighting from the balcony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we ran down. We ran to the other side. By the time we got to the other side of where y'all was, yeah. y'all already did whatever you was gonna do. Mm -hmm. You just I think we talk about the time. That's a tough. That's a tough. That's a tough. That's a tough. Come on, just take these good pictures.